loves. Um, give me a second. I'm actually feeding babies right now. Ripley is in the process of eating, which is why the advent calendar is where it is right now. And now I am feeding uh, Archie. So give me a second and I will be right back. And no, I can't show feedings here because I'm not sure uh, what Twitch would think about them. So give me a second. Of course, Double M got the uh, got the thing he always gets. Nothing wrong with that. Ain't ain't no shame in the game. Um, Ripley grabbed. Uh, we call it like a wrap. So Ripley wrapped. She's struck and wrapped, and she is swallowing. Murphy is swallowing right now. Um, Archie, man, he's kind of having a day. He's kind of having a little bit of a day. He got a little pissy with me, which is fine. Um, I had to weigh him. Today was his like official first weigh-in. He weighs 115 grams. Very, very small. Very, very, very small. Um, and that I have to know how much he weighs so I know how much to feed him. So, fed him uh, 12 grams, I think. 12 grams, yeah, something like that. And then uh, Murphy ate 17 grams. So they're good. Um, Archie didn't wrap, but I left it on the plate, which is something we do. Um, we want them to be comfortable enough to eat at any time. Like if for whatever reason they're not wanting to come out, we do want them to know that they have food available. So that is done. Three videos down for casual, uh, largesse. Oh, and I don't remember the other name off the top of my head. Give me a second. It's super hot in here. Who is that other name? Oh, Double M. Double M, yours was done today. Um, Ripley ate Sarah. <laughs> hey, Demon, how are you? Give me a second. I'm, I'm off list, trying to get comfy. Um, okay, so they're good. I don't need to check on the, the bigger babies because they are fine. All right. We are, whew, I'm good. We are on day 20 of the Queebmas, Queevent, Queventine's Day, Queepsgiving spectacular variety show. My name is Ms. Queeb. Uh, yeah, we're just hanging out today. We have a game of the day. I know it, you don't, and Queeb doesn't. <laughs> We've kind of created this game to... Um, get chat to guess the game before Queeb 
guesses the game. So far out of 20 days, well, 19 days counting yesterday, so 19 tries, chat has guessed it five times before Queef has. And Queeb has guessed it, I want to say four or five times. Generally, he he doesn't. Like he'll he'll be like, oh, okay, what is it? Go ahead and tell me. So we're eh, about neck and neck. It's not what I want to see. I, I would like to see more of a an edge. But that's just me. I'm an overachiever. Who do we have? Stall. Hi, Stall. Turnba. Hello. And Demon, of course. Gotta have Demon in there. Everybody's got needs a little Demon sometimes. So we are... So, so normally I'd be like, oh yeah, you know, we only have a few days left. No, we have 10 days left. We're only two-thirds of the way through. <laughs> Thanks, Queeb. Appreciate it, Queeb. So I think after this week, what we will do for, um, because the calendar is not going to work after Thursday, 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 yeah, is um, I'll be basically just handing it to Queeb, which is fine. Uh, but that means that for next year's calendar, we will make sure to go ahead and do a full 30 days. So tell me the good stuff. What's going on? How is everybody feeling? Is everybody cool? Everybody good? Are you on Christmas break? I know Double M is on Christmas break already. Right? I think Double M is. I think so. A few others have been on Christmas break. Um, they are lurking. I'm not going to call them out because I'm sure that would just... That's not a good look. I did have to go out to the store today to um, to do regular grocery shopping as well as uh, get stuff to hold me over until next Sunday or Monday, which will be the next time I can go out. Uh, LA is kind of horrible when it comes to uh, food vacation, stuff like that, like Thanksgiving, like it happens for Easter, it happens for Thanksgiving, it happens for Christmas, like everybody just loses their shit. Um, went to Target, uh, that that was an experience because I'm still, I'm still dealing with, with the news from yesterday about my friend. Um, had a little had a little panic attack before I went in. Everything's all good. I made it. Um, went to a thrift store, which thrifting is like my happy place. There's some pieces I'm looking for specifically. Like um, I collect vintage copper molds. Like I have a, this is my third collection. I've had to give the previous collections away. One I sold and one I had to give it away because we just didn't have the room to move it whenever we came out here to California. So this is the third collection I've built up. I think I'm at 20 some odd pieces. So I'm always looking for those. Uh, blankets for the dogs, other stuff like that. Uh, thrifting was, was decent, but everything else was just awful, abysmal. Uh, grocery store was shut down to two aisles or two lanes because of course it was. Basing. Hi, how are you? Come on in. Kara, hi! Come on in! How's it going? Dude, that's so cool. Thank you both for coming in and reading. That's amazing. Uh, Queeb is on his way. We are going to start off with a little bit of Isaac. Then we will do the game of the day here in about... I'll probably give it like 15 minutes. We will do... Uh, we'll work on hints for the game of the day. Someone asked me a few days ago why I don't do the hints sooner, and it's because if I do, that is literally all people will do is just throw, uh, throw hints, and then I I literally spend forty five minutes saying nope, mm -mm, not that one, mm -mm, not that one, no, nope, 
Not that one either. We're doing okay. Um, I'm. It, it's a. It's a little bit of a slow day here. A little bit productive. Nobody knows nine thousand. <gasps> Look at that emote. What is that emote? It's something in a basket. What is it? Oh my god, that's so cute. I love that. <laughs> that's perfect. Um, what did Queeb think of Death Stranding? Are you available to answer? Uh, Shuby. Hi, Shub. Would like to know what you thought of Death Stranding. He did like it. Stunning game, very beautiful. <laughs> Weird and very different. Yeah, that's pretty much how I, I described it in the beginning. <laughs> would, is there anything that would prevent you from playing it in the future? You will play it off stream. You won't play it on stream again. Okay. Did you guys hear that? He said it's very polarizing. He probably won't play it on stream again, which is, un it's understandable. Like, like I said, I've said this previously, I haven't played the game, but I'm kind of an info whore about stuff like that. Like, like I want to know, basically, I want to know the ending of something before I do it. And that, yes, that's trauma. I'm working through it. Um, so I know uh, the premise of the game. I know key scenes of the game. I've watched gameplay trailers wiki etc it, it's stunning but it's just weird it's just weird uh shub if it's a game that you you want to see if you would even be interested in i would suggest looking at rad brad's uh walkthrough of it on youtube he he goes kind of i was about to say he goes kind of slow but he doesn't he he actually goes at like a Okay, so I'm not sure if you heard, but Queeb said that he didn't get far enough into the game to know if it would be uh, repetitive or not. And so that might be an issue. Nobody, I, I love Rad Brad. Um, I, I, I have been subscribed to him since before he had a million. It's like the only claim to fame that I really have. Uh, that is true. I didn't know McQueeb before he was famous. <laughs> um, and I watched like all of his breakdowns, but I've kind of had to stop watching them. And I think that that's more about me and less about him. Um, I, I still like to jump in for time to time, but I think I, I need to find a streamer who does walkthroughs and can be, uh, I don't know, a bit more of a noob like myself when it comes to stuff like that. I was just curious of his thoughts on it. I personally don't feel like it's my kind of game, but don't play most 3D style games, including Doom. That, that's kind of my thought on it. Like it's, I don't know how to explain this. So if it sounds really clunky, I apologize. But it's, there's a lot of games like that that are more cinematic and I would, I would rather watch like a four hour movie of it than play it myself. Like even Rad Brad, he did like hours and hours of it. And which is, that's fine, that's fine. Um, but I mean like, like I would rather watch a movie of of the premise of the content than, uh, than watch gameplay of it. It seems like it's one of those. I'd rather listen to someone play through the game. Yeah, exactly. Like if, if I could watch a movie of it, yes. Um, if I can't watch a movie, then I would rather watch someone play it. And and then maybe, like, I don't think it would be a game I would play by myself. I, I would be too anxious and too stressed out to understand things that are going on, like, at that very moment. Like, I would know, oh, okay, I have to go get this. Okay, I need to go do that. And not really appreciate or understand it. But that's fine. 
just like heavy rain i would be bored of heavy rain very quickly if i wasn't hearing someone's jokes about it as they were playing it that definitely makes a lot of sense shoot yeah okay so if you're just joining us hi hello my name is ms queeb we are on day 20 of the queeb vent calendar extravaganza variety hour whatever we're calling it um my name is miss queeb there are 24 boxes on that little advent calendar that is cleverly placed to hide ripley eating right now um we are on day 20 so we're on box number 20 there is a piece of paper in that box that says exactly what we will be doing today i know it queeb does not I'm going to give it about five more minutes before I start doing hints. That way you guys, uh, you guys have the time to do whatever you need. Queeb is probably about 20 or so minutes out. So if you need to go 10 minutes, okay. So if you need to go change the laundry over, change the laundry over. If you want to go make a quick sandwich, go for it. Uh, if you need to potty, that's okay too. Maybe you need to move the car. Whatever you got to do, you got about 10 minutes. You go do your thing. I'm going to check on babies and make sure that they are eating. Bear with me. Murphy has eaten. Good boy, Murph. Archie has not, but he... He is still hiding. Yeah, he hissed at me earlier. It was very cute. I felt very threatened. Let me see if I can see Ripley. Ripley has... Oh, yeah, she's finished. Whenever Quig comes over and he moves the box, or moves the, the calendar, you'll see a plate. Her head is propped up on the plate. She's waiting for more food. Because she has manners. I would rather watch Rad Brad than me playing it. <laughs> right? Absolutely. I, I feel like totally the same way. It, it just like, there are some games that seem like they would be very fun to play. And then there are some games that would, they have a very interesting storyline and I don't care about playing the game. I just want to know the storyline. And that's partly why I know as much as I do about Death Stranding. Like it seemed really interesting. Turns out it was interesting and extremely weird. Give me a second. I had to reboot before we started the stream. I'm having uh, an issue. I keep getting an AMD error, and that is something that I don't want to deal with right now. So I had to reboot. Everything's cool. Everything's fine. Um, But that means now I have to relaunch my tabs. By the way, if you guys know of any um, any people on YouTube who do walkthroughs, like not necessarily Twitch streamers, but if they do a walkthrough on uh, on YouTube, if you could let me know, like you know, just cool people in general, um, as opposed to me having to go in and uh, do it myself, like, like do searches myself and pour through it, that would be cool. Turnbot, I have a merch question. I bought a hoodie a while ago. I wear it all the time. I would like to have another color, but they're not. So let me check. The hoodies, I I didn't take them off the site. They're they have been completely out of stock. Like I came up, I found an alternative that closely matched and it was the same quality. And that went out of stock. And then I had to change it to a hoodie with a different color zipper, which you guys know I don't like, but it was a good quality hoodie and then that went out of stock and then the holiday collection was supposed to be a thing and that went out of stock um let me turn by was it an embroidered hoodie or a printed hoodie or if you can dm me 
your name, um, I can look up and see what hoodie you did have, and I can see if there is something like a one-off that is comparable to that. It was printed. Okay. Nobody, thank you so much for hanging out. We'll see you in uh we'll see you back in a bit. That would be great. Crow. Kaka, motherfucker. Kaka. What is that? Ha ha. Oh my god. Is that like a jelly-filled donut? He is adorable. Oh my god, I love it. You guys know me. I love the emotes. One day I'm going to have a plethora of money, a, a veritable plethora of money, and I'm just going to sub to people so I can get their emotes. And it's super important to me to like one day actually have kick ass emotes. Yeah. Let's see what we can do about hoodies. It's embroidery. I thought it was printed, so let's see. I think I know which one you've got. It was just the one with the, the white zipper and it has a white beard that's printed on the, on like the, the breast area. Yeah. Okay. Let me go back. Let me see if it will offer me anything. You. McQueen beard logo hoodie. Okay. Over. I think it'd be cool if I could figure out a way to simplify this as opposed to logging into like 14 different things. Do you know what I mean? We are about to do uh, hints for today's game of the day. Queeb is running a little early, which usually doesn't happen. So he's going to give us an extended amount of time to figure this out. Don't even worry. Uh, a Queeb beard. Logo hoodie out of stock for 18 variants. Yes, I know. Can you show me alternatives? Okay, while that pulls up, let's go back to the game. All right. Are you ready to hear the hints? If you are ready to hear the hints, please show me your favorite emote. Just, just spam me your emote. I'd love to see them. Um... This game is, it's a few years old. Yes, thank you, Stevie. Oh, I love it. This game is a few years old. It has overwhelmingly positive reviews. Um, and it, ha it has a fuck ton. It's got, it's got a lot. Um, it is, show, show me them tags, bitch. Oh, thank you so much. I love them all. All right, here are the tags. Is there anything that stands out? Oh, okay, there's a couple that stand out. Okay, so we'll go through the, the regular ones that every single game has had, and then we'll, we'll do the standouts. So we've got strategy, turn-based strategy, indie, pixel graphics, turn-based tactics, mechs, M-E-C-H-S. I have to say it like that because I have an accent. You think I have given it away? Okay. Well, that's not on me. That's on the, uh, that's on the tag. Um, and once again, this is Rogue Light and Rogue Light. Sci-fi, RPG, single player, tactical, turn-based combat, simulation, replay value, procedural generation. Oh, and great soundtrack, apparently. <laughs> um, the standout tags are going to be... Puzzle, 
we haven't had one that has been puzzle yet. Um, and then mechs, obviously. So we've got those two stand out. Just based on that info alone, does anyone know what it is? The, the, the thumbnail is, it's unremarkable. And let's see. Give me a second. I'm reading the description. See if there's anything. I keep seeing turn-based, randomly generated turn-based strategy game frequently. So we've got a randomly generated turn-based strategy game with mechs. Some of y'all's names keep throwing me, man. Hero Pawn Thrawn. That's going to bother me. I need to know how to say it. Um, I am not going to confirm or deny that just because Queep is literally like six feet away from me. And the object is to get you to guess it before he does. Oh, that's good. Thank you. Can you tell me where it's from so I can understand it? It's it's unique. I've literally never seen any either of those words. It's a compliment. I promise it's a compliment. <laughs> Crow, I do like the bongo cat. I'm telling you. If I were a billionaire, man, all I would do is just sub to people all day long. Xenoblade Chronicles, Thrawn is a character from Star- Really? Well, that's why I wouldn't know it, because I am not a Star Wars fan. Please don't kill me. I would say Into the Breach, but RPG it's not, but tags be weird. And I keep guessing, ITB. I wish that there were some system where and I, I know that this this would absolutely depend on the people playing it. Like the people who who are actually playing the game would have to do a little work. Like I wish that they could say like go through and, and be like, yes, it's this tag. No, it's not that tag. Um, because literally we have like ten tags that that have been the same consistently every single damn time. Granted, that's the genre that Queeb tends to stick with. And then there'll be like, like, eh, at most there have been like a handful that just kind of point you in a direction, but otherwise it's literally the same tags over and over again. Uh, Miss Ripley has eaten. Her head is, is on her plate. Yes. She's waiting for more. And uh, Murph ate. Baby Arch has not, but he is buried. So he might, he might not eat today, which means I will, uh. Ooh, 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 I might feed um, Archie's rat to Ripley. Because I think that math works out. Ripley, eh, she's probably 350 by now, which means she needs around 42. I had to feed her 25 today, minus 42. Yeah, like that math. That would be perfect for her. Hello, everybody. Hello, how are you? Doing good. So, I think I I think I know. That there's only one turn-based tactical mech game. Okay. So I think I think the tags have given you away on this one. Okay. Um. It's already been said like several times. That's what I think. That's why I'm, I'm going with I'm going with chat on this one. Okay. Go ahead, pull it. Day twenty. Day twenty. Candy cane. Candy canes. I had to go buy you more. You bought another box. Mm-hmm. Doesn't it doesn't box. help that I'm eating them like 
like candy. candy. Yeah. There it is. Congrats, Crow. Uh, who else said it? MM said it. Uh, please hold. Somebody else did say it. I don't have my glasses on, mother. Uh, yeah, you got to be any standout tags. I heard. I heard you say it earlier. It's like. Pantheron was the first to say it, so as, he would. Yeah, as soon as you, as soon as you get a tag that's a, a little bit weird, especially, yeah, I don't play many mech games. There's, there's a couple in the list, but I don't know if the other ones. I don't even know if it if I added it to the list. But congratulations to those who won. Who got the uh, MM again? Jesus Christ! Every time, can somebody else beat MM to chat, please? What's funny is yesterday, at the same time, he grabbed the he grabbed the uh, the redemption as I think Frost said hi. Oh no! Oh, and, like, missed I opportunity. Got, I know, right? He's so close, so close. But it's fine, no big deal. Um, Chad has been very, very well behaved today. Very quiet, very chill, very cool. We should beat him up. <laughs> he would still find a way to grab it first. Steal his lunch bunny? Yeah. He, he is magic. It, it's like, I'm telling you, like a couple of days ago, I could have grabbed it and I'm like, no, no, it doesn't, it doesn't feel you're, right. You're not like, allowed. It, no, no, no. No, 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 no. It feels like it's his. Do you know what I mean? Because he's gotten it every time. Unacceptable. <laughs> hey, Trom, how are you? Redeeming a sub? Absolutely. Let's do that. It doesn't help that the FTL soundtrack is playing right now as well. <laughs> it's, it's from the same developers, FTL. I was there for 30 minutes trying to get it. I don't have a problem. <laughs> no, you don't. You're perfect. Alec, how are you? Thank you for dancing, baby. I appreciate it. How have you been? How's everybody been? Everybody doing good? We're uh we're in the home stretch for Christmas. Thank God. Let's get it over with. It's been yeah, a, I, been a funky year to say the least, huh? I I am done. I I am I am done. Like here here's how done I was on the way home today. I stopped by Wendy's because it was on the right, the, the side of the road that I was on. I got four six piece nuggets and I sat in my car and I ate one of them and I started on another one before I came home and I just like, I just, I ate nuggies in the car and I, that's not something I do. Like I just wanted to zone out, be by myself, eat my nuggies, leave me alone, let me do my thing. Alex, we're doing great. Um, you just missed it. We, I didn't feed them on camera, but we did feed babies. I'm about to give Archie's rat to Faye, or to Ripley. Later, Turnba. Turn Take it easy. Thank you for stopping by. Turnba, um, before you leave, did you have a color preference for hoodie? You said that you wanted to know if there was a different color. Did you have one in mind that I can try to look for for you? Or just another black one? Uh, yeah, so snakes have been fed. Archie did not eat, but he... He's a little... He's a little... He's a little feisty today. His mama's feisty too. It matches. Any color but black. Okay. I'll, uh, I'll look into that, and the next time I see you, I will, uh, I'll let you know, okay? Thank you for letting me know, I appreciate it. Have a good night. One second, I forgot to do the most important thing here. Start a prediction. Well, yeah, we, we gotta do that. I, uh... I did not bet yesterday, I don't think. Got extra points today to give away, huh? I have 2,700-ish. In a day? No, no this is for two days because I didn't do anything yesterday. Um, well, yeah, that's still technically a day. Okay. 
Um, you do you do lurk for that entire stream, even if you're not there. You... So. Yeah, for, for a good amount. Um, and then I grab whatever bonuses pop up. Mm -hmm. But I have noticed that they've they've stopped popping up as much as they used to. So I'm not sure if that's it's a conspiracy. <laughs> but it's only been in the last in the last month or two that it's done that. And I get close to three thousand per stream. Okay, that that makes sense. Are you do you also have the same tier three? Newt Magoo? Sui, you are absolutely correct. He hissed at me. Which is fine because like he's a baby, like he's literally the size of a worm, and it's just like a worm hissing at you. Because he's just in a bad mood. I've Murphy I've struck. Sh I've shown you Wait. that video, right? The Which one? Tiny little snake. And he's so angry, he's got his mouth open. Oh yeah, you should be that. <laughs> yeah. It's like, I'm gonna get you. <laughs> they just get so, just so upset. Uh, Murphy bit McQueeb last night, but it, it wasn't like a bite. Like, it was more like he opened his mouth and pushed his open mouth against Queeb's hand. And uh, very adorable. <laughs> Especially when they're just, they're so tiny and they, they're so sassy. Like if, if a ball python is ever going to have any kind of attitude, it'll be when they're a baby. Like, when Ripley was tiny, Ripley bit me when she was tiny. She was like, it was literally, she was three months old when it happened. And then these guys are, um, Murphy is seven eight months old and archie is two months old so we're in that same region yeah so it's, it's like just like a, a, a spicy spaghetti noodle just biting you and then um so what i have to do is um, because they're so small i have to weigh them to figure out how much to feed them right so I have to take them out of there and I made sure to wear long sleeves. I wore my gloves because this can be a little traumatic for them. Someone reaching in and grabbing them from their tank and putting them in something that seems weird and then taking them out and putting them back in their tank. So well, I made sure it was Yeah, that's what happened last night with, um, with Murphy. He was sort of sitting in a really weird spot, very unusual. Um, and Miss Queeb was like, oh my God, what's, what's going on? And we looked and She's like, okay. And I said, I'll, I'll grab him. It's okay. And I reached my hand in and... He, he let Queeb... Basically, he's in a tub right now. He's getting upgraded to a, uh, a tank. So he's just like in a, in, a, in a big plastic tub, which is fine. Like, that's totally standard. It has air holes. It has room for heat. Like, he's good. And... Uh, there is like a lip where you it has the handles on the outside that lock so that indention it go it makes like a tiny little shelf on the inside so he he figured it out and he was just chilling on the shelf but we wanted to make sure that he didn't get stuck because ball pythons they're they're smart but they're not the smartest things in the world they have a tendency to get themselves into trouble so we wanted to make sure that they uh that he he wasn't stuck and Queeb picked him up and he let him pick him up and everything was fine for a second and then all of a sudden you just see this little you're just like so tiny and, and Queeb like jerked back and I'm like what what happened and he's like no no he bit me he didn't bite me but he opened his mouth and like pushed it against me I'm really glad I didn't drop him actually I, I held firm, but it mm -hmm. was it was a big shock when it happened. I wasn't yeah. expecting it. I I would have dropped him, which is why I'm I'm as careful as I am with him because I know how I am when I'm surprised like that. Um, when I grabbed him today, he was in his jug. He has like a, a milk jug for a hide, like a like a tin milk jug. And I was able to bring out the jug and he acted like he wanted to go onto the scale by himself. And he, he partially did. 
and then uh, I helped him the rest of the way. He had like a little moment where he was like, where the fuck am I? And just has this, this like angry look on his face for something that doesn't have eyelids. And uh, uh, he actually came out onto my, my hand for like like a couple of inches and then he was like, nah, leave me alone. Uh, I was able to move him back. Everything was fine. I had a, I had a little bit of a panic, but it's cool. I'm working through it. He, he didn't act threatened. However, my arms and my hands were completely covered. So there you go. Yeah. You wear, you wear gloves now. I do. Like I, I will sometimes wear gloves to even handle Faye because I'm, I am, I am that triggered and it, it's, it's less about the hurt. I I know that. Look, if you have any animal whatsoever, whether it's a dog or a cat or a snake or a lizard or whatever, you run the risk of being bitten at some point. Like Zoe has has bitten me once on accident. It was like it was barely anything at all, and she acted so so ashamed that she did it. Zoe like, did. Yeah. Oh, I can imagine. Like so, we so we get this look on her face, like, what have I done? I'll I'll pack my stuff. Give me a moment. You can, I'll just I'll 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 go out to the curb. It's okay. You don't have to call an Uber. I'll find my own way. Just I'm so please, sorry. Please just sell me to someone nice. <laughs> She's so dramatic, and um, we were whenever whenever we had Emma around, which was. Uh, we lost Emma a year ago, and uh, before that, Zoe was just in a in a, a pissy ass mood all the time. Like her and Emma did not get along. Um, there were they would be fights, but even when there weren't fights, like there's just tension constantly, and you couldn't even really get too close to Zoe without her growling. Mm. And so this one time she started growling and I moved my hand away and I'm like, no, 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 you're not going to growl at me. We're not doing that. I'm your mama. You know, I'm, I'm okay. I'm safe. And I put my hand back on her and I was scratching her more and she growled again. I'm like, we're not doing that. Everything's cool. I like walked off. I gave her a little bit of space. I came back and, uh, I didn't even like do anything to her. Like I just sat down next to her and she, she did this this move like she was gonna bite me and she was she was in my face and if i hadn't been wearing glasses she would have made contact mm. but like <laughs> like i saw her i saw her teeth and her tongue uh through my glasses i felt her teeth touch my glasses and as soon as it happened she like backed up she's like oh holy shit I didn't mean, oh my god, I didn't mean to do that. Should I go pack my shit? Like, I can, I can pack my bags. I, I should pack my bags. I'm so sorry. I'm the worst. I'm the worst kid. And she was just sad. She was so sad. Loaf, on the other hand, is just constantly like, like, oh, that got a reaction? What about this one? What if I do it again? Well, what kind of reaction you gonna have now, huh? Like, he's just he he's a riot insider that's what he is <laughs> like he's he 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 wants to incite violence he knows the fastest way to do that is uh when we're in the backyard and i'm walking back to the gate he'll shove his nose up my ass because he knows i cannot stand it and my hand will just quickly just whip back there and just pop him in the face like no we're not doing that mm -mm. I, no and he's like oh you don't like that what if i do it again hmm what if I do it again? What if what if I bite your jacket? Hmm? What if I bite your butt? Hmm? He just he wants to provoke a, a reaction. He's such an asshole, but I love him. I made a chair almost like 17 years ago of encouraging my cat as a kid to play aggressively and to live joyously through that pain for 17 years. Thankfully, with all the Prozac we're pumping through Loaf, he's not that aggressive, but he still has his moments. Um, I have the name of a guy for um, lessons, like, like 
puppy lessons for Loaf because he absolutely needs it. He's right. a good dog. He he is a good dog. It's just he's like he he has a lot of energy and he doesn't know how to express in anything other than like like he he is not a loving dog. He will give me kisses in the morning, like when he's, or after a nap, when he's like super sleepy, he'll be like, oh, you're my mom. I have to stretch up against you. You're so cute. I love you, mom. And that's like the softest he will be throughout the day. Otherwise, he's just an asshole. All right, let's see. Marf the Smurf is on his plate. Hmm. You done, Murphy? Where is... Lupira is free? Uh, no. Post, I grabbed it. Posted that in... Uh, in my oh. deals page on Discord. Pentagram. Aw, oh, man. Yeah, baby, we don't do that here. I'm sorry. Okay, so... Mr. Oh, it was a bot. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Archer is hiding. So let's give him to Ripley so it is not wasted. Rip that bot! So I got I got some decisions to make. One, do I want to take a tears down? I think that would be a a bad idea at this stage. We're getting awfully close. Like it's a good trade, but you reach a you reach a point, and it gets a little tough. We've got incubus, so more tears, more damage is better. Um, excellent first floor. We found. Um, say go for it that's um i mean i could take your advice crow he did vote against me though so it might not be coming from the right place you know significant damage up actually uh point point six is nothing to sneeze at i think we take ace of hearts and get out of here item room was isaac's heart <laughs> now nah, we're good Look, for, for someone that blasts people out of airlocks for a living, I don't know if, um... Yeah, I don't know if I should be taking advice. So I've, I've played Into the Breach, but only for like 30 minutes. And I was like, eh, it's alright. Um... But I think I might have a newfound love for that style of game ever since Fights in Tight Spaces. When I was playing that, People would not shut up about Into the Breach. And I'm like, okay, clearly there's something there. I've heard it's short-lived or there's not a lot of replayability. Something like that as well. Ace of hearts. About a hundred. Oh, just, just a hundred? Ah, okay. So it's, it's not that good, huh? Okay, so it is south. We're going to get this key as well, which is good. Extra keys. One for you, one for me. Well, no, none for you. Incubus is so fucking good. What a what a good trade that was. I'm so glad to have it. Like, yeah, sure, we're locked into devil deals, but I think that one was worth it. And one third can join as well.
Do we get a boss challenge room here? Shit, we do. Well, well, well. No bombs, though. I could use mom's foot. Sorry, what? Had two tinted rocks. I mean, I think it's I think it's completely random. We could stomp Mum's foot for a minute. It's a little it's a little bit much. It's a little bit much. I don't have the health to to warrant that, unfortunately. Now what we need is uh. What's the the twisted twisted pear is the um is the other item. Oh the Bible though. I might save for the Bible. Yeah, why not? The meta felt limited. When you say that, do you mean like the uh, the progression system behind the scenes? That's where you, you take a hero that you've won a run with. Great down. Loves it. And um, And you get to carry that person to the next run, right? I don't know. We'll 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 learn about it as we go. Still don't have a bomb. I need one. Fucking keys. Come on. I'm gonna have to go with the foot. <laughs> Damn it. How's Death Strandings? Yeah, I deleted the VOD. Um, it got muted. We also had a little bit of an awkward situation prior uh, to me deleting that as well. I thought, you know what? Let's just get rid of it. Um, but... No, it's fine. It was, it was good. I enjoyed it. Highly polished, beautiful game. Like, stunning. Probably one of the best looking games I've seen. Um, the $10 upgrade from the PS2 or disc version which I've got to the PS5 version was it was worth um shit hmm could be a bomb in the shop bag yeah I'm still trying to say for the bible don't forget this would get us that maybe some pots Access to this room. It's worth doing. Why was the VOD muted? Because it had licensed music in it. It's not a surprise at all. Like that, do they have an option to turn off the music? No, I looked. It would have been too late by the time I looked anyway. Interesting. Give me... Tears up. Oh yeah, okay. There's that bomb. We should probably still do the foot. Uh, maybe? Sack dagger. As much as I would like it, I can't really do that. Hmm. People stream our games. So that's the thing, right? Like, they approached a musician, the musician created music, and it's good, great music for the game as well. Um, that's fine. But the game company 
signs a contract with the musician, that's it. There's, there's one agreement there. The musician is like, well, we don't want to give our music away for free. We want to get paid for our work, like we did with the contract with the game company. Now, yes, it can be argued, um, you know, um, well, that's just more exposure, but that's just it. You can't pay for people in exposure. It's the same reason why I won't accept free artwork. Um, like, yeah, it's, it, it kind of matters. All right, are we going to do this or not? Shit. Okay. One minute. One minute's a long fucking time. Eight bit. One of the reasons why I got out of doing graphic design or any kind of work like that was because towards the end of it, it felt like I was having to justify my prices. I was getting nickeled and dimed. And then I had way more people than I would have liked offering uh, to just, you know, oh, well, we can do it for exposure. Like making it sound like, uh, like I had asked, like, n no, we can do it for pay. I do. I've been doing it 10 years. We, we can do it for pay. And like, um, yeah, well, and then they would start picking apart, uh, my previous work. It's like, that's, that's not how this works. You, you thought I was totally cool to work with. You just don't want to pay. And I'm going to go ahead and cut off contact now. Thank you so much. I hope you find someone who works with you. Ivor, hello, how are you? I hope you had a, uh, a wonderful Monday. We done? I think we're done. Okay. Pat Template, how are you? How is everything going? Howdy folks, welcome. Hope you had a lovely day. Do this real careful, like I'm I'm threading the needle here. I don't like it. Is that a single? Shit, I hope it's a single. How many does it take before it explodes? It's random. There may be a lower threshold, but... Yeah, okay. Good. Yeah, certainly wouldn't say no to a speed up. That is for sure. I'm still going to leave the floor with full health if I can. And we've also got enough money to play the other beggar. It's really the game developer's goal is to make their game accessible to streamers. No. No, their goal is to make art or a product in the in the in the case of some uh, companies.
Here we got half. One that would require a bomb shit. Hmm. Oh, I have the Bible. Never mind. Can't get that. So I guess you're not paying out. Fair. All right, so we're done with that. Surely sells more if someone streams it. <laughs> mm. That is the logical way of thinking, yes. Okay. Wow, this machine. All right, time to get the hell out of here. Still, good floor. You think Activision gives a fuck if you stream Call of Duty or not? They're not going to, their, their sales will not change based on that. Well, we found a super secret straight away. Pretty cool. Very cool. Love it. What's interesting with um, the game we played last night is that um, I didn't I didn't know any of this, but uh, chat was telling me that. Um, Kojima had to crowdfund it to form his studio. Um, and this was this was during the big, uh, you know, Konami letting him go or, you know, blacklisting him or whatever, whatever you want to call it. I, I don't know. Um, and yeah, so he formed his own studio off the back of the negative press from from Konami. Um, it's it's an interesting story. I would love to research more about that, I think. Do we both have tears? Wait, wait, wait. Let me take care of this side of the room. Do we both have tears coming from... Yeah. Yeah, we do, I think. So he copies our tear effects exactly. So then what's the difference between him and Twisted Pear? Because they're both 75% of damage. Twisted Pear might not carry over some of the supplemental tier effects. I don't know. I don't know. Twisted Pair is in a 100% chance of shooting. Oh, really? Well, I don't know about that. I thought it was uh, your shots. Again, identical. Wow. Okay. 
Double shots and moves you, follows your movement perfectly. This guy follows behind. Right, no, no, I, again, I, I understand that. That's... Does Twisted Pair fall into familiars? Good question. That's a good question. So it might not be conjoined. Not that that's a huge disadvantage compared... Like, it's an, it's an incredible item. Angie fly spawns two demons from use that float by Isaac's head. The fire tears and use Isaac's tears, range, shot speed, and tear effects, and scale with Isaac's damage. Each familiar deals damage equal to point point three seven five. Okay, so it's essentially incubus split. Okay, so it's a third, approximately, of Isaac's damage versus uh, three quarters. Got it. Got it. Still not even not even sad about not getting angel rooms on this one. This is like I didn't expect the tele teleport to the devil, um, but it's made such a diff such a difference. Angry fly is so stupid. I hate him. <laughs> he's he's all right. It's the weird thing with angry fly is in a crowd. Incredible. <laughs> On a solo enemy, it's like, what are you doing? What are you doing, son? Um. So over the last three days, I have watched. Um. Arrival, and then last night I watched Interstellar. Um, I think next on my list is probably like Moon or um, what's the what's the Tom Cruise? I think it starts with an I as well. Maybe really good soundtrack future tech he lives in a tower he's a oblivion thank you that that might be one of my next ones yeah a compatible team movie effective team are you are you an effective team yeah it's, it's good it's a good movie interstellar was so good at I, I had a big criticism about it back in the day. I wanted to dislike it because of... Uh, I'll, I'll be careful with what I say here. But the... What's the... What's the... Uh, who was Catwoman? Anne Hathaway. Thank you. The Anne Hathaway subplot in the film. Mm. I had big problem. Your, is your mic open? Mm -hmm. um, I had big problems with that back in the day because I didn't want to. Um, I didn't want that to be kind of the, the driving factor. But by the end of the movie, I had tears running down my face. I was like, oh, you fucker of a movie. You, you got me.
Anyway, it's it's good. It's very good. You're about to say Halle Berry? <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> not, not quite related. <laughs> hey, Junko, how are you doing? The calendar doesn't have today's game on it yet. Ah, oh, damn it. I did take a screenshot earlier. One sec. Sorry, you're right. Thank you for keeping me on track. You may like this one. Did I take a screenshot? I did. Boom. Updated. Has Ripley gotten down that rat? It's almost like she's waiting for a third. <laughs> I'm telling you, like, she is the perfect mate for Huxley because they both, like, they're, they're just... Not they're they're not going to be able to afford to live together, babe. <laughs> Seriously, like he is first man today's game is uh into the breach. But yeah, Ripley is like for for someone for something rather who started off not wanting to eat, she's she's doing exactly what Huxley did, like making up for lost time. There's so much good food in the world. I gotta have it. They do they both do this thing where they like to see the rat before before I put it in the tank. So I'll normally set their the bowl that the that the rats are in right next to them but on the outside. And it's almost like you could see them licking their lips as soon as they they sense the heat coming off of the rat, and it's just, it, it's so cute. Like they square up, they'll go, oh, it's time, and you can almost envision them tying a tiny little napkin around their neck and getting out their knife and fork and doing like a poo dance, like a poo dance. Like 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 a Winnie the Pooh dance where he like he's sitting at a table and he ties a napkin and he's like doing a chair dance because he's about to eat. Like he's just, he's like a food dance. Um, that's that's what it 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 looks like to me. But granted, I'm not including the last two weeks in this because Huxley is going into his uh his I want to eat but I don't know what I want to eat kind right. of thing. Give him some um, cat food. See if he see if he eats it. <laughs> uh, Hobo, I liked it. I liked it a lot. Um, I probably won't bring that one back to stream just because it's quite divisive um absolutely gorgeous game um weird but weird in a in a i'm interested in this kind of way and uh yeah i i like it a lot actually i think it's like i don't know maybe hideo kojima could not be be the weird guy every once in a while. <laughs> Shit. What are we on? Caves one. One boss item. Sounds good. What do you got? Sounds very good. I think that's roughly it. Weird is good though. Uh, I mean, it's it's a very surreal game, and it doesn't. It, there's almost next. There's next to no explanation, right? You have to you have to pay attention. You have to watch what's going on, and then as as you're watching it, you have to piece that together in your head. And, uh, some people don't like that. What did I do to deserve you? One more. 
One more. One more. Okay. I, um, I've seen people eat ramen with egg and I don't think I could. Um, it's very much a, very much a texture thing for me. Don't make me waste three bombs here. Son of a. Well, well, well. We meet again, Mr. Bond. Five. Six. Lucky last. Well, that wasn't worth it. Does D1 duplicate... Um, trinkets or not. Seven keys though? I wouldn't have traded that if I knew what was coming. I was hoping for consumables, but it's okay. Wasn't there a lockpick? Yeah, there was. Yep. I don't know if that counts for the, the giant chests or not. Unlocks chests without using keys. Well, there you go. It does work. All right, cool. See, I, when I say I learn something new every day, I, I'm not kidding with this game. I think I'm going to take this with. We'll see if it's even worth doing. If I get enough health, maybe. Hmm, okay. We'll see. That tier rate looks intense. Why is it so high? I know I have a few tier rate ups, but it's, it's only 3.5. Oh yeah, I didn't I didn't even think to bring it with. The poop trinket definitely has its place. Is it Is the poop trinket viable in like the womb with all the red poops and stuff? Really glad I took that. Okay. <laughs> Red poops can't drop loot, so that doesn't change when even when you have uh even when you have the, the poop trinket. I can't take the devil deal, so hopefully we don't even get it. Maybe I should have waited on those two. But it's it's okay. It's fine.
Better too much than not enough, am I right? Wow. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you're, you're right. Oh, thanks, babe. Uh, you're welcome, dude. Yeah. Why can't I take a devil deal? Because we don't know what the items are. Wow. Really? Shit, I'm out of bombs now. Did I... Yeah, I get it. <laughs> That's right, I, try, I tried it. That's how I got to the... Yeah, yeah, all right. Is there a curse removal for Curse of the Blind? Mm-hmm. Yep, there's a card and black candle. Does the sun remove Curse of the Blind? I don't think it does. Shit. 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 Sorry, a rune and, uh, and black candle. Problem is, we can't identify Black Candle either. So we have to just luck into a shop item. It's happened before, and I'm sure it'll happen again. Hey, why am I doing this? Night is going very well, my dude. Thank you for asking. Strength card. That ain't the one, Chief. That ain't the one. Oh. <laughs> You've been playing more Outer Wilds? You have no idea how happy that makes me to hear. Makes me to hear. Yes, that's correct. Wider tears increases knockback. Do you know what? Hmm. Not yet. I still sense a... Uh, what's that card called? The one... Uh, the Endless Poop card? Cards Against Humanity? One of those. I still... I sense one of those in my very near future. Never punished. So unless we hear a dog barking, there's no need to search a room for crawl spaces. However, I'm going to destroy mushrooms still. Mm 
Dogs barking can't fly without umbrella. Jumping Jack Flash. There's a quote I never thought I'd hear in this channel. As long as I exist on this channel, you will hear shit like that. This is why, Miss Queep. This is why. Has anyone else seen the movie Jumping Jack Flash with Whoopi Goldberg and, uh... Who else was in that? James Belushi was in that? I think he was a bad guy. Be flat. The key is the key. King Nesta, what's up, dude? The key is the key. What do you mean the key is the key? <laughs> Nesta, my love, how are you? You are amazing. So, Thank you for joining us. Funnily enough, that is the precursor, one of the precursors to Sneakers, a movie I mentioned the other day as well. I don't know if you've seen that, Ms. Queeb. I don't recall. Um, so, Jumping Jack Flash had Whoopi Goldberg. Carol Kane was her friend. Uh, Annie Potts. Uh, Who was the really high-pitched pregnant lady in the office? Her friend. Really high-pitched voice, and that's one of the things she's known for as an actress. Wasn't that Carol Kane? Oh, I don't, I don't know I the name. I didn't think Carol Kane was pregnant in it. Um, Jonathan Price, John Lovitz, Phil Hartman. He was one of her co-workers. That's right. Yep, yep, yep. Um, and... Uh, uh, unfortunately, Stephen Collins was in it. Who's Stephen Collins? Z Z bad dude. Bad dude IRL? Bad dude IRL. We can't talk about what he did on this channel. We'll oh, get, okay. Uh, TOS. But yeah, he did, he did stuff he wasn't supposed to do. He got ostracized from the public. And he is... Uh, last I saw last year, he was with... Uh, he was either engaged or just seriously living with a girl who is extremely young. Ugh. Yeah. But, uh... But, oh, and... Wait, go back, go back. Who was that? John Wood. I always forget him. Who was the English actor in it? Very British. Doc? No, no, no. Not, not the good guy. Um, I'm looking. So Jonathan Price was Jack. Jeremy Talbot was uh, played by John Wood. John Wood. Mm. Creepy, um, creepy kind of uh, uh, character, yeah. Who is... So Lady Sarah was played by Sarah Botsford. Um, doesn't look like... She's been in tons of stuff. She has like one of those faces. You're like, oh, her. Uh, let's see. Well, I mean, she was in Tremors 4, so there you go. Wow. So she's <laughs> ultra famous. Uh, she was in As the World Turns, some show called ENG. Sliders. Law and Order, like a bunch of guest stars. Everybody's stuff. been in Law and Order. Yeah, like I'm... Well, I mean, I, I haven't should... been in Law and Order yet, but one day we'll get there. <laughs> McQueep, uh, McQueep for Law and Order. There you go. And... Oh, wait, hold, hold, hold on. Whoa. Did... Did they turn Holly Hobby into a live action? I don't know what that means. Holly Hobby was around in the 80s and she was like the the less bright version of of like strawberry shortcake. Don't know what that means either. Do, do you know strawberry shortcake? No. <gasps> what? Are you kidding? 
like sh strawberry shortcake, the little, the little, the little girl with the little, the little bonnet on her head, and it looked like a strawberry, and the toy smelled like strawberry. And then she had her friend, blueberry muffin, and blueberry muffin smelled like blueberries. Oh. St <sighs> what the? <laughs> I'm, I'm having palpitations, y'all. Okay, so, do you know Rainbow Bright? I've heard of Rainbow Bright. I don't know what it is. Okay. Is it a toy or a, a movie? Well, it's both. Rainbow Bright was a cartoon show, and it's come back in, in several iterations, but originally, all of these shows took place in the 80s. They were cartoons. So, Rainbow Bright, um, I'm not going to get into, like, the, the nitty-gritty of it, because, frankly, you don't care about it, but basically, there were a bunch of her friends who were like there was a green one and a purple one and a blue one and like like one for every color of the rainbow right so, okay well it was just it was a way for people to identify same like you know babysitters club and whatnot so strawberry shortcake was the same so strawberry shortcake was the leader and then she had her friends like blueberry muffin and then there was like one for lemon and one the for, like, leader whatever. like a no. literal gang like it's a gang it's a crew they would throw down if, if you like came at them sideways. <laughs> so anyway, um, and, and basically like it, it's it's also the same with with um, like, yes, like with the Care Bears and My Little Pony, where it's like there's one standout and then there's different little like friends. So you know, little kids IRL can be like, oh, you know, that one's my favorite. Okay. And they have someone to identify with, right? Okay. So. Holly Hobby, I don't know who came out first. I'm not going to Google this and pretend that I know. Um, Holly Hobby is kind of drawn in more of like a country-esque style, like like very like less cartoony, like like more like a Precious Moments. Do you know Precious Moments? Like those figurines that our moms used to collect and stuff. No. Like very subdued colors and. Um, not as active, and I don't think there was a cartoon ever for it. It was just like Jordan's like I had a lunchbox, and I had a doll, and that was it. Just very, just very subdued compared to the brightness of Strawberry Shortcake and 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 Rainbow Bright Kids and and My Little Pony and and Care Bears and all of that. And then you have like fucking Holly Hobby and like dull blues and 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 browns and cream tones. Yes. Thank you, Red. It was a comic strip. Okay. So, um, anyway, apparently, while I was on this adventure of looking shit up about fucking Jumping Jack Flash, and I looked up stuff about Lady Sarah, who was played by Sarah Botsford, for the last three years, she has played Grandma Hobby, or Helen Hobby, on Holly Hobby. I'm like, it's a TV show? Yeah, apparently. Um, it's a Canadian TV show now, and she lives in a small town of Collinsville, and she's a 13-year-old singer-songwriter who's got the best friends and close-knit family by her side, but she's always dreaming of ways to save the world, even if it's starting in her own backyard. And I'm like, wait, what? Where's the bonnet? Where's, like, the country dress? Like, where's the subdued colors and, like, the just, like... Like, like what? Like... Like, just set my whole childhood on fire, why don't you? Jesus. It's, like, worse than what they did with the with the Care Bear revamp. They redrew them, and now they look all weird and stuff. Don't... I'm, I'm gonna look up... I'm gonna look up Cabbage Patch Kids if, if they're bastardized. I, I've, I I've heard of them. Those... Yay, they're kind of creepy looking, right? I, I have to. Yeah, I have to. Here? Uh-huh. Go get them. Well, I think... Out of the box, I just have, I have a preemie, but I got her because she has my, my name is her middle name. And garbage, like, garbage pale kids. I don't know what that is either. Not, they were cards. Okay. She's kind of dirty. Well, not dirty, but she just hasn't been washed. You have them readily available? No, no I just have her readily available. She's 40 years old. 40. Mm -hmm. And take take her bonnet off. And she has a little sprig of hair. 
and then the other one I have is like I guess like a kid so she has like yarn brown hair and she has green eyes you, should, you yeah. should send this into um someone that does restorations on TikTok I'd be scared to oh they took care of it yeah that's 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 my that's my baby they used to smell really good I want to say Cynthia smelled like baby powder I don't think this one ever did but yeah 40 years old no yeah, shit. I'm, I'm 42. See, that, bitch. that doesn't look creepy. Why am I thinking they looked creepy? Maybe I'm thinking of something else. Because, so the older ones, they have like a bigger head and with these same proportions, it looks weird. Okay. But yeah, the babies don't look weird. Do the babies look weird, you guys? Like, does that look weird? That doesn't look weird. That just looks, I don't know, like a baby doll. <laughs> Stop, you boy. Stop it. <laughs> I think I'm gonna find the, uh, I'll find the other one and I'm gonna put it in Queeb's, on Queeb's side of the bed one day. Don't fucking what? do that. Don't. No. That's <laughs> the last thing I want to find at 8 o'clock in the morning when I come to bed. Oh my Christ. <laughs> King Nesta, here, it, here's the weird part. It was sitting out on a shelf literally six feet from his side of the bed so i mean who knows hunky brewster was amazing i loved her bedroom i, rem I remember that's the tv show right um my favorite episode will forever and always be the one where margo's family went bankrupt because her dad was a crooked cr like criminal and she had to like move in with, with Punky or some shit. <laughs> Did she move in with Punky or with Cherry? I don't remember. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing. Like it was just Margot was just so like above everyone and was just like, I'm rich and now and then she loses like everything and it's like, oh oh this is real. This is real life. Is he speaking to someone? in the house i i am literally on the other side of the room from him but no 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 i like the idea of speaking to you on comms like i i wish i had like a little button that i could just push um was punky brewster the same era as degrassi i be i believe Punky may have been first. I... Degrassi was something that it wasn't even aired in this country at that time. Right. There's only one episode of Degrassi that I remember, and that is the episode, I think his name is Spike, the bully. He gets yeah. HIV from his girlfriend. It's like dark episode. And the, the kid that he picks on in, I'm getting feedback again. Hold on. The kid Go that he on. picks on, which was the the drummer, I think, or the singer from the 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 Zits, whatever the fucking band name was, um, he'd had it. He he was like, no, you're not gonna do this to me anymore, and starts fighting back. And they're in the bathroom at school, about to go go to blows, and he's like, stop, stop, stop. Like the bully's like, don't, don't, because there's you know they they focus on the blood on the floor, and it's like this is a big scare, and this was in the 80s, and. I remember that episode. Uh, let's see. She's the stuff of nightmares. She's not the stuff of nightmares. Uh, Queeb, guard your soul. <laughs> I, have, I have all the old Power Ranger toys, and that was said by Why Am I Do This? Hi, why? Degrassi um, was and, 90s. Uh, Punky was 80s. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then Quiet said that they sold all of their Power Ranger toys. Uh, let's see. They're all the rage when I was a kid. 40 years I'm old. <laughs> you're, you're in the right channel. We're all old here. Uh, they don't look realistic. Cabbage Patch Kids were the stuff that put Black Friday brawls on the map. Oh, girl. Oh, they're like a, um... So, this was, it was one of the, the original, like freakouts i have no doubt that you can go to youtube and beanie look babies is the one i'm thinking of 
Oh no, this one, this predated. My mother, I'm not gonna go into a long diatribe, but my mother is clueless as fuck. And I'm being very respectful when I say it that way. So I shit you not, I was four. I was four, which means this was 1983. And my mother took me to Toys R Us two days before Christmas, or two days before, uh, what was it? It was Wednesday. It was the Wednesday before Thanksgiving. She took me, it was like during the day, I don't know if I was out of school early or not, but she like, she made this whole deal like, we need to go to Toys R Us to get something for your brother's Christmas, even though my birthday was like coming up too. She's like, no, no, we need to go get something for your brother's because of course she did. And we walked in and back then, they didn't really do Black, like now Black Friday, like people will start lining up Wednesday. And they didn't do that then. Like that was back when stores were closed on Thursdays, stores closed early on Wednesdays. So when we went, it was a madhouse, a literal mad. There were people everywhere. I was, that was probably the first moment that I've ever had such a strong reaction to being in, in like a large group. And it was just literally all of these older women. There were a couple of guys, but it was mostly women. And they were like, so the whole thing with, with Cabbage Patch babies is that they, you can get them like they all have different hair types, different hair colors, different eye colors. So the whole premise is like you get one to match what you look like. Okay. So the reason that my baby doll in there has blonde hair and blue eyes is because up until I was 12, I had blonde hair and blue eyes and then my eyes turned green and then my hair went like ashy or whatever. So that's why she looks like me. I had already, I already had her while we were there. These women, they're like, oh, I found, I found one with red hair, but it's not curly. Does someone have one that that's red hair and has, has curly hair? Oh, wow. Okay. Like it, it's that specific. And my mother, I, we went down a different aisle that nobody was really on. It was like over in the boys section and someone had, had taken two and put them over there kind of like hiding. And my mother grabbed them and she walked them back over in that direction of that aisle. And she, she's like, which one do you want? There's this one and this one. And she's like, oh, we'll get this one because this one has your grandmother's name. So you can have this one. Like, fuck whatever it looks like. Like, oh, this, this, this is something that my mom, you know, has an identity to. So let's get it. So she walked back over to the aisle. She's like, hey, I found one. And she like put it down and these women were just freaking out. I'm like freaked out because of what's going on there's so many people i'm i'm very little everyone's taller than me i feel like i'm gonna get lost so the first baby doll i had it was given to me i didn't go to the store for it but the second one i got it like because it had my grandmother's name and my mom i don't know wanted to not be a dick but we're talking pandemonium in the store there was nothing on the aisle and the women like women had gone and they had got two and three dolls each and they were literally like well what what color is that one what color are her eyes oh well i have a white baby do you have a black baby can we trade like it was like that like fucking intense um i've seen some of the videos that they used to have on youtube and it's like it's a little bit triggering because i i remember being that small and being involved in it mm -hmm. we're not talking like You've seen the videos of the people like fighting over TVs at Walmart. It wasn't that chaotic. And I think that's because they maybe didn't realize that it could be that chaotic, if that makes any sense. Mm -hmm. just so just so weird. The whole thing was weird. Um, they were the original Beanie Babies. Uh, yeah, like they were. Eh, I think they were more expensive, obviously. They came in different age groups like they had the preemies so like the one that i showed that was a preemie and then they have like the regular kids i think um 
Oh, oh, and then afterwards, a few years later, they came out with corn silk hair. So instead of it being yarn hair, it was silky hair, and that was a huge thing. Um, let's see. Apparently, Power Rangers are traumatizing for mothers. I got American Girl for my goddaughter, not totally worth. But she knows she had me wrapped around the thing. The American Girls... I want to say that the the cabbage patch was thirty dollars. I don't know if that's accurate, but for whatever reason, that's the number that sticks. Thirty out. bucks. It's, yeah, and that it's was not a small 84. amount. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, American dolls. You know what they are, right? Uh, nope. Mm -mm. So there's a book series. It, it's it's much different now, but like in the '90s, it was a book series about in each book was about a little girl in a during a different time period okay and so the little girl she wore period era specific clothing um so there was one that was uh one from like colonial boston and one like i think there's like a wild west one and then they they came out with one that was like native american and they actually worked with a specific tribe to make sure that they got the clothing accurate. Oh, really? Um, That's dope. Yeah, so, es okay. so essentially, like, the whole premise was, you know, oh, here's a doll, and here's a book about the doll that you have, and we'll tell you about history, and it's, it's based in history. The dolls are $90 each. And they're, they're like, $90 all plastic. $90 each. Nine, nine zero, yes. Um, they have different clothing that you can get them, and you can you can still do it you can get a custom one for yourself so you can get a doll that looks like your daughter right and i think even they even like brought in uh boy dolls but yeah like kind of on the same level a lot more expensive a lot fancier i guess mm -hmm. for one billion dollars yes exactly like just so much. I got the only brown one for her and the PJ set to match. Was that Addie? Was you remember Addie? the name? I remember, yeah, there was, um, I remember a lot of their names. Like there was like a Jesse. I specifically remember Addie because, um, my friend was really excited to get this doll. Um, and she needed it to complete her, her set. I'm like, oh, oh, you have a set like yeah i get all of them every time they come out <laughs> it's like um what are those what are those pops the funko brand pops mm -hmm. yeah it's like those although they they're they're manufactured and i know people i don't know them personally but i've seen collections that are huge okay. like i don't i get it but at the same time that's it, it's a massive investment they're not it's super expensive individually but these collections would be worth well that's just it i don't know maybe they're not worth anything um because they're so so mass produced and but they're the problem with pops is that they they create one for everything that's like even remotely rare um or, or not even rare but like for every pop culture thing they, they they create one and it's just it's I don't know it's kind of weird I only have a couple and I think there, there's maybe a total of if I pushed it maybe like 10 tops that I would get right you got like the Captain uh, uh, Captain Marvel one and and there's a few that you've got that I've seen well, and you got me the Bob Ross one. Bob Ross, yeah. yeah. That was but just, like, it was cool. It was like a meme. Yeah. But it's like, I'm not, I'm not terribly attached to anything. So it's, you know, it doesn't really, it doesn't make any sense. Amiibo um, was crazy there for a minute. Yeah. I mean, the same, same kind of thing. Nintendo was, I think, hoping it would become the next big, the next big thing. I remember back getting sent when I used to do mobile game reviews. Um, some company sent me a box of toys. So there was, there was a little base that was connected via Bluetooth to your phone, 
and you'd have a game that you'd be playing and then there'd be these things you stacked on there and they had individual like weapons and and maybe it was it was either ships or yeah i don't know you could snap on different weapons and stuff um and i, I thought it was the coolest thing at the time then i i never played it like the game was not good so yeah i didn't i didn't it's not something i picked up and and you know made a habit out of right uh, Starlink, Star maybe, maybe I don't know, can't remember. For the American Girl dolls, they're probably like maybe twenty, but it's like they have one Felicity representing English colonial America at the dawn of the Revolutionary War, Earston representing mid-century settlement of the American West by Euro white European immigrants and pioneers. I think Kirsten was like she was supposed to be Swedish or something. Um, Kit Kittredge was from the American Great Depression era, like. There and, and I, I think the idea is like super cool. Of, of writing these books and and teaching kids, especially girls, about particular time periods. I just fucking hate that they were so expensive. Right. Uh, just uh, it's so fucking stupid. Someone in chat mentioned Skylanders. I had to oh, was it cover. I had. I had to cover Skylanders for my merchandising job, and it was... Anytime there was a new release, I had to be at a store at midnight to make sure that they were they were there. I had to deal with parents talking about how if they didn't get this one, their kid was going to kill them, and then like having to like hold my tongue like, your kid's going to kill you? Like, how does your kid know it's coming out at midnight? I'll, like, I'll keep my eye on the headlines. Can't wait. <laughs> um, and I have one Skylander. I, I don't even. I can't even tell you what his name is. I don't know. He's like a little dog I, that looks like a skeleton. I brought he him was... home from E3. Remember, we got given. That's where I remember mm -hmm. it from. Yeah. Um. I had actually seen him in the store, and I didn't get him. Uh, because I I didn't see a reason to buy him because I I didn't I didn't have Skylanders. I didn't have a console. I, there is no purpose for me to buy this thing, and uh, and then Queeb actually had one and gave it to me. I'm I'm a check. Hang on one sec. He was the. Uh, it's a special one. He's like a little dog or cat looking thing, but he's he's skeleton. His name is like Bones or something. Um, he was actually uh, the Christmas tree topper for the Christmas tree we had a few years ago because the tree was so small and he fit on top of it. It was perfect. Uh, we put all of like the toy stuff in a box in the closet. That's from the Dark Crystal, I think. That is a Funko. I don't know why we only have Leonardo. Why wouldn't we have Raph? This is a this is a pro Raph house. This is not a pro anything else but Raphael. I'm sorry. It is. Yeah, I can't. Fact. I can't find it. I got sent. Um, sorry, we there was a limited edition one. What were we talking about? Not a Skylander. I mean, yeah, there was a limited edition one given out at E3. Like you could only get it at the event, and um, so I, I brought that home from Ms. Queeb. Thought she'd like it. And I did. I hate it. That, that was one thing that I didn't realize about conventions until I actually went. Like, I went to Comic-Con like 10 years ago, and I went two years in a row. And the idea of like, oh, we're, we're gonna release this, like, this special figurine, you know, it's DC all, figurine. It's all about the hype, yeah. Um, it's only going to be launched on on this day at this one booth, and not not understanding scope. I'm like, oh, okay, well, I'll be there and I'll I'll go by and get it. And there were like 200 people in line. <laughs> it's it's a figurine job. Why? <laughs> Why are you doing this? And like like I, I wanted it. I, I I think I waited in line. I waited in line maybe. 20 minutes just to see how how much the line would move it didn't move anything 
Artificial like, rarity, yeah, it's, yeah. Yeah, there's just so many people, and I'm like, you know what? No. But I do have to say, I think out of all of my, my, my qualities that I like about myself, I think the quality I like best is that 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 rarity bullshit, I, I don't really give a shit. Like, I died. In fact, it probably repulses me. Right. Like, I don't... I don't have this, oh my god, they're gonna release this one thing and it's gonna be at this one time and I have to get it, oh my god. Are there things that, that come out that I want? Yeah. I'm... I will say this, since Queeb and I have been together, there's been one item that I have wanted that I did not buy at the time that I kicked myself for not buying and he was actually able to get it from a friend who was like bring bring him over <laughs> bring me my son the original son he's dusty though we'll give him a wipe down um oh my god oh he's very Jesus Christ now fuck yeah I'm yeah. not I'm not even like I'm not even sad that I'm gonna miss Spider-Man until it comes to streaming like I I am so pissed off because I completely forgot that the internet loves spoiling people um, What happened? I, I haven't like I saw someone talk about it and I literally just I closed the entire browser I'm like nope not today Okay Our son this this is our son does he have a name? I don't think we named him This is our son this is our this is our son. We had a child. Isn't he looks he, he looks just like me. <laughs> it's a it's a bobblehead oh. with a really strong spring in the top. Hmm? Vault one one one, which was bullet bullet four, or I mean it was in four. I don't know if it originated in four. But yeah, that's maybe this that is... was the New Vegas, uh, not New Vegas. Um. 76. 76. I can't remember. He weighs he a weighs ton. Up. Awesome. Like, he is the only thing that I have wanted. And I think it was... I don't know. It, it was literally... The... Maybe the first... The first or second night that we got to Florida. And got set up. Full out for we went shopping because we had nothing and uh we went to best we buy went, went to best buy we went crazy a little bit and a little bit he's like what do you want what do you want what do you want pick something and i'm like oh just don't want it. credit no, card be damned we'll, we'll worry about it later uh-huh yeah we worried about it later um and up over in the toy section the the like gaming toy section um, high, like, it was probably on a shelf that was, like, 12 feet high easily. It was, like, up there. Um, they had a huge box with this guy in it. And, you know, it's Best Buy, and it's hard to flag people down. And I was like, that's, you know, where are we going to do it then? And it's fine, whatever. So we literally went home. And I, I couldn't stop thinking about it. I'm like... I should have bought it. We went back the next day. It was gone. Couldn't find it on a website. Couldn't find any mention of it anywhere. Couldn't find anything. Like, we could find, like, the super huge ones. Like, there's one that's six feet tall. Like... But it was it was plastic, though. Um, and, uh... This is ceramic, I think. Years later... No, it's like a resin. Years later, uh... Queeb has told the story a few times, and he was telling it to a friend, and the friend happened to have it, and the friend sold it to him. He's like, well, I don't need it. If you want it, you can have it. 20 bucks. And it was like 150 at Best Buy. And he's like in perfect condition. Like, there's not a scratch on him. He's, he's wonderful. He's beautiful. And he sits in a corner. He does nothing. He sits in a corner and does he's, nothing. He's but... doing what he was designed to do. <laughs> exactly. That aside, I have n I have never had a moment where I was like, oh, damn it. I should have gotten the one thing. Oh, my God. I'm going to kick myself. Like, like nothing that stuck with me. Like, there are things that I would be like, oh, wait a second. What was that thing I wanted, like, six, seven years ago? What was that? Oh, yeah. 
oh yeah let me see if i can find it oh it's on ebay oh i'll get it like n we're not talking that we're talking like i would think fondly of this thing never never seen it like never held it in my hands didn't even know what it actually looked like i just knew what the box looked like couldn't find it anywhere kept randomly looking and lo and behold my husband came through and he he brought home my son it was it was a proud moment <laughs> very proud moment he's uh he's glorious he's beautiful he's uh i don't know i think i think he needs a brother or a sister or somebody but yeah queen did good this is what i'm saying queen did good Sorry, I'm trying to trying to do my best here to get them as much as I can out of this floor. A little bit of concentration required. Um, I'm going well, I'm going pretty heavy on the bad BHD, but it's good damage, and now our tier rate is decent again. Oh, I should have brought Game Kid with. Oh well. Never mind. It worked out in the end. Um, so I, I did a search. <laughs> I did a search, um, just for Cabbage Patch. And so there's one on Etsy, and it says, 1985, vintage, one of the most rare Cabbage Patch ever made, redhead, Teresa Ann signed by Xavier Roberts. Like, that was a big deal. It had to have the Xavier Roberts signature on the booty. I, I forgot to tell you that. She has a signature on her booty. Um, this the one creator is, of it? Yeah, this one is $1,500. And, and she has water damage, which may need to be cleaned. Also, the face is a little dirty. Seems like the face will clean easily, but I didn't want to do it. I'll leave it to you so none of the original makeup is ruined. Well, 1500 bucks, you clean it, bitch. So yeah, so if I, if I felt like... Like selling my ba my baby doll, I could. I'm not going to. Uh, looks like there's one that's still in the original. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Original package from 1983. She's a Japanese version. Oh, twenty five hundred dollars. Oh, she's cute. She's very cute. Wait, give me your wallet. Huh? We were originally asking twenty nine ninety nine. However, the box has a spot on her left hand from where, or the doll has a, bo a spot on her left hand from where the box had exposure from age and shelfware. So the price has been reduced to reflect the current wear. Wow. Maybe maybe I'm just poor. <laughs> maybe, maybe that's the issue maybe 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 the reason why i i'm not really invested in in anything is because i i cannot financially be invested in anything that's why i avoid ebay i can import anime figures because that's how i have a foot tall goku <laughs> Yeah, like I haven't I haven't hit that that level yet. Like have I? No. I don't I don't really have like anything that that would be like like that that specific. No. I wish though. Show me a picture of this Goku. I need to see it, please. Ah. Nice. Look out for bombs. Come on, just solis. That's all I want.
Hmm. And a bo and a golden bomb to boot, huh? All right. Or do I post it? You can post it on, um... I was gonna say you can post it on your pet picture, <laughs> but that's, that, that's just weird, weird humor. You Put can it on the it... Ms. Queeb channel. Yeah. yeah, do the Ms. Queeb general channel. Golden bombs give you unlimited bombs for the floor? Question mm -hmm. mark? Yep. Yep. Anything golden generally refers to, uh, with the exception of golden hearts. Um, it, so golden bombs is unlimited bombs, golden keys is unlimited keys, except when trading, it only works for using. not necessary yet we'll come back if need be hello synth and lasers and falls off cliffs hello yes hello hold on cryo i'm going to look right now <laughs> oh he's perfect i love him he's amazing You know what? Well done. Well done. I I recently came to th the conclusion that being an adult means that, at least for me, I'm I'm literally a big child with a credit card. Yep. So I need I need to be careful. No one <laughs> around to tell you no. Well, except my husband, but um. <laughs> <laughs> I uh. But no, like, like there is, there is this line, and if if my inner child really wants something, I'll get it. But but in general, like, I'm I think I'm I'm pretty good making sure that I'm I'm not like, it's pink, it's sparkly. Let's put pink it sparkles in the bedroom. Like I'm I'm doing my best not to venture. Uh, it just being exactly yeah, cryo like. Have I made question questionable purchases as an adult? Yes. Um, but they they have been adult purchases. Like, I think the the stupidest thing that I've done was uh, I bought like six of those mini brand balls, and they're like sitting in a drawer. But I have enough to make like earrings out of a few of them and some keychains. So I'm gonna keep what? them for like. Oh, you you bought. More? No, 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 no. The ones that I had before. Mm. And, and here, here's how how it's like, ran. He, it's like here's a box of cereal. I'm like, okay. He's like, what? Um, I, I, ne I never know who's buy who wants to buy it. Is it adult me? Is it kid me? Or is it ADHD me? And so I have to have this discussion with myself every time I go out and I want to buy something. Like. You want a guitar? Who? Which one really wants it? A band of adventurers approaches Miss Queeb. Watch out! I'm watching. Hide your cabbage patch doll. Micromanager, <laughs> how are you, dude? Great to see you, man. Micromanager, hi. Micromanager uh, is a buddy from TikTok. Nice, welcome. Uh, this no. is the voice of Miss Queeb, by the way. My my, oh, yes, yes. my hi, wife. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Uh, no, so like, what was it, like six months ago? It was during the summer. Maybe it was before Loaf. I bought 
like six of those mini brand balls and there's like five things in each one. And I thought they were so super cute. And I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll get a couple pairs. I'll make like weird Claudia Kishi earrings out of them or something. And I thought it, like they have, now they have little sets, like, like a, um, what's it called? Like, like I guess it's like a collector's case where it has like the holes of, of what goes where. It's like, oh, well, you know, here's, here's the case where you can put like one of each thing so you can, you know, keep track of what you have. And then we'll also give you five included. I was going to get one and a, a mini brand ball for my birthday. Cause you know, it was my birthday. I, I should treat myself. Yeah. And, um, yeah, I only made it down like an aisle and a half. And I'm like, yeah, this is stupid. I don't care anymore. Which tells me that it was the ADHD and it was not the inner child. You get a window from a glass. You must get a window from a... I'm sorry, you've, you've lost me, dude. No, you have to say it with the accent. I get a window from a glass. He must get a window from a glass. I get a clock radio. He cannot afford much success. Oh, okay. Okay. I, I didn't I don't know, I don't know that quote. It, 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 yeah, it's from, it's from Bart. I would say that would be a very strong run. Put it in the bank. 22 in a row. Oh, damn it. Should, I just want to win. Shouldn't have voted against. Why, why you keep voting against? I can't, I can't stop you. Because that's how I make the most monies. I need, I need to make monies, queen monies. I need monies. No, I, no, I have no monies. Well, now I have six hundred forty monies. <laughs> Miss, Miss Queen needs to see beneath the hat. He won't take it off. It, it never comes off. I woke up the other day at like eleven in the morning, like which I never sleep that late and he had already apparently after he got done streaming he took a shower he like trimmed his beard and came to bed with the same hat on I'm like I missed it again <laughs> we're going on what six years I still haven't seen under the hat oh goody Pluto he he doesn't sleep with the non but he sleeps in a onesie but it, it has like like little bunny ears. She's making stories up now. <laughs> no. <laughs> he absolutely showers with it on. I refuse to believe nothing else. It is a Pink Ranger outfit. But the original Pink Ranger outfit, like the original one. Not like any of this fancy dancy later year stuff. We're talking like straight like mid 90s. sleeps with nothing but a beanie and socks this this dude is a heater he is a little heater and I needed ice cold to sleep and he'll like he rubs up all on me which is fine whatever he's kind of cute but he's just he he is just radiating heat and I'm just I'm not about it Let's skip that item, huh? What is this floor? Fucking weird. We, Cryo, we are absolutely talking about Kimberly Ann Hart. Absolutely, 4,000%. OG Power Rangers are the only Power Rangers, in my opinion. You are correct. I was such a fan of Amy Jo Johnson that I got her first two albums. And I had, I had to hunt that shit down. Like this was back when like, like it wasn't like instant. You had to actually go, go find a store that had the album. Like I couldn't even order it online. Where was it? Um, the Trans American Treatment was 2001, and then I also had Imperfect that was 2005, and then apparently she released one in 2013 called Never Broken. I don't fucking know. Never heard of it. 
She's amazing. Yes, the fam goody days. Holy shit. Yes. You know, I bet I could find some of her albums. Like, if Amoeba was open to the public, I don't think it is. That shut down, isn't it? Oh. Uh, did it? I think. Because the last I saw that, that it was. A, an it, LA landmark has been shut down. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm pretty wait. sure. I, I'm not going to pay to read your stupid article. Hollywood reopening. Okay. Please tell me where. Oh, they're coming back. Uh, meet the... It's a block east of its original location. It was on hiatus for a year. This article is from April 1st. Uh, officially opens today, April 1st, with lines expected. Yeah, so they just An moved. article on April 1st? Are you sure it's... Variety. Yeah, I'm sure. Right. Uh, it's like it's an actual article article. Um, right, but it's April 1st. Yes. Even publications like Variety oh, publish no, bullshit. Hold on. I'm trying to confirm for you, my husband, and then other photos say Amoeba Records and Hollywood reopening on March 31st. So maybe it was a March 31st article and it was re updated or it was updated on April 1st. It still looks massive. Yeah, reopening on March 31st. So maybe it was just a, a updated article. Um, not just digital formats and vinyl, but token cassette, VHS, and these are even laser disc sections in the back. They even have some eight tracks. They have uh, BTS prayer candles. I've always wanted some. Sure. BTS, that's the um, the K-pop band, right? That, that is a K-pop band. Dude, I, I have a story about this. I, I've done a lot of shit. I've had a lot of jobs. I've worked in a lot of industries. Thank you, ADHD. I appreciate it. Um, and in one in one such life, I was uh, like I leased apartments. Like I was an apartment leaser. And one of the perks is that you got to live on property for extremely low. So my apartment, I hate to say it was bigger than, than my current house and my rent was only $300. Like that's a stab in the fucking heart. Uh, but the, um, I picked that apartment because the guy who rented the the unit below it, he was like really into like home security and whatnot. And he was like a really, really good guy, nice guy. And he worked at Bell Helicopter, which was like the, like, like it's on par with like Boeing in an area. Like it's just like, like big tech type place, aerospace place, I mean. And um, he worked there and, but he had weird hours. So I was like, yes, he's perfect. He's the perfect neighbor. He's going to leave me the fuck alone. It's going to be brilliant. And when I was showing him the apartment, like he, he rented his apartment. Then like a few months later, I, when the one above him came open, I grabbed it. And he had mentioned that he had a bunch of collections and who wanted to make sure that they're going to be safe. And he, are we cool with him setting up security stuff? I'm like, yeah, yeah, that's fine. And so cut to, I move in, I get everything moved in. And uh, I'm coming home one day and I see him and he's like, oh, you moved, you're the one that moved into this apartment. I'm like, yeah, you know, I, I promise I'll stay out of your way. And he was like, super nice, super sweet, right? And it was just like a friendly, like neighbor stuff, like in passing, we would rarely see one another because I worked during the day and he worked at night sometimes. And he asked me once to, if I would be cool with checking in on his apartment while he was gone, like, I was like, yeah, not a problem. So, picture the biggest room in your house. For for this apartment, it was the, the living room slash dining room area. It was like a big combo area. On all of the walls, he had put up shelving, like, not against the wall, but like those shelving units, like, made out of, like, metal that you can get at, like, hardware store. 
and they were covered with what looked like records. Like, like I, I don't even know how to quantify the amount, I'm, but we're talking like five rows high, and it had to have at least been, I'm, I'm gonna be conservative and say like 15 to 20 feet long worth of shelving units. I didn't look at them because, like, I'm... That's me. Like, like if you're gonna trust your privacy around anybody, it's gonna be me. Like, I'm not gonna look at your shit. I know what it's like to not have any privacy. I'm not gonna violate your privacy like that. But I checked on his stuff and I made sure he was cool and whatever. And when he came back, he stopped by the office uh, where I was working during the day and he's like, Hey, was everything over? I'm like, yeah, everything looked fine. Um, I didn't check any of your your albums or anything. Um, like I made sure that everything looked okay. So you may want to look over those. And he's like, my albums. I'm like, yeah, the 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 records that you have on the shelf. He's like, no, 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 those are laser discs. I'm like, what's a laser disc? He's like, oh, when you get off, come downstairs. I will show you. Mm. So I go after work. I stop in. He had almost a thousand laser discs. Because, according to him, he made so much money in aerospace and he had no one to spend his money on and no debt. He had already paid off his debt. He paid off his car and he owned a home in the area that he was renting out. And he, he was basically banking money and he didn't have a hobby. So he was spending all of his money on laser discs. And laser disc gonna take off you know it will absolutely mm -hmm. we're just waiting um he ended up burning some for me it had to have been like it couldn't have been a dvd i mean this is like 2000 i think but whatever was he like he i ended up getting like uh, what what do they call him uh vcd video cd if, uh... Pirates loved them. They were the shittest <laughs> quality, but it was... <laughs> um, but it was like, it was... We we had been talking and passing about a movie, and I, I don't even remember what the movie was, but it wasn't something that I had seen. And so what he did was he had it, he burned it for me, and he gave it to me. He's like, no, you need to go ahead and take a look, and, you know, if you like it, that's amazing, and and, and I'll, I'll buy you the laser disc. And if you don't, then you can just throw it away. Who cares? But it was weird because he just had so many like like any anything that would come up in conversation he's like oh i have that and at one point he's like you should look at getting a laser disc player of your own and you can borrow like a, wh whichever ones you want and i still didn't really understand what they were I'm like i don't really care <laughs> it's not really my thing and and I, I am glad that i didn't waste that much money i had a massive dvd collection back in the day massive i did I did too. Uh, DVDs, CDs, and books. Like I had over 300 books. One. Most of them were about vampires and witches and stuff. It's one of the and first things I got rid of when I moved countries mm -hmm. several times. Yeah. <laughs> Such a fucking waste. Wouldn't it be nice to have, and I, I think about this often, it's one of those shower thought situations where like stuff that you no longer have that maybe you didn't even get any enjoyment from. Let's limit it to that. Um, useless purchases, let's just say. Um, wouldn't it be nice to have all of that money back again? You can't go down that hole. Well, no, I've already gone down it. Like, I've, I've started, I've tried to go down it myself, and, and th this is a prime example. So, some people in chat know that I was in an abusive relationship uh, several years ago, and uh, I had to, uh, I was able to get a loan on my car, a, t a title loan on my car to get myself back, back to Dallas. But before I, before I found out that I was approved for that, I sold, I had an entire Danger Girl collection, action figures, all of the comic books, a couple of figurines. I just sell them all for like 50 bucks in total. 
And even then, I ended up taking it for 40 because that's what the person offered at the time. And I'm like, shit, just so I need fucked. to cash. Yeah. Um, I had original artwork that I had purchased at uh, LA Comic Con, at San Diego Comic Con, at Long Beach Comic Con, at another one too, I forget. Dragon Con. Like, or, like probably. What's Dragon Con? D&D? &D? Uh, Dragon Con is just like Comic Con, except it's in Atlanta. Um, it's more niche, I would say. I, and my intel is about a decade old because that's when I went. Hmm. Um, I, uh, like, it seems like a lot more local type people. Like, there, there are a lot more cosplayers at the time would go, they would prefer Dragon Con because it just, it's real fans, true fans will go to Dragon Con over over at the enormity of uh san diego comic-con we're talking like maybe a tenth maybe right. and uh with uh with dragon con like with san diego comic-con it's at one place it's like in one convention center at uh dragon con there's like five or six hotels that are within like literally across the street from one another and connected to one another and so it's in all of their ballrooms. So it's like, it's literally tons of walking. Okay. I loved it. Um, but like I had tons of artwork that I would have loved to have kept. And most of it was like, like female characters drawn by female artists. Like I, I had a really nice collection. And in order to get myself back to Texas, I thought I had to sell all of it and I did. And I was letting shit go for like five and ten dollars because I just needed the cash. And I had I had a meltdown. It was probably my my worst one I've ever had because these things that that I got that I spent my money on my hard earned money that I had held on to and that had been like held over my head by my abusive ex and all of this like like, oh, I'm going to I'm going to throw your shit out if you you know, if you do this or do that and I had to put myself in the place where I'm like, look, this money is gone. This money's gone. It's, it, I know you paid $150 for this. You, this is not worth that. It's worth that to you, but it's not worth that to anybody else. And yeah. that was like the start of my thinking of, and I've told you this before, when I, when I spend the money, I, I, I don't envision selling it. I don't envision a return unless I specifically buy it for that, which I rarely do. If I buy it, I imagine that it's going to end up at a Goodwill because I'm not going to be able to get anything for it. Right. And it's because at one time I was like, no, no, no. Like I should get thousands of dollars for, for all of my collection. No, sweetie, you, you got at most, you got 200. Yeah. I sold all my super NES games, all new in box and manuals, all the inserts, the white trays, desk covers, pennies on the dollar to lay me pay medical bills. It still hurts. Oh, that's yeah. even worse. Yeah. Like, fuck. Like, like just and it it was it was such a blow on top of everything else like i would think that that if you're just if you're just like hmm, I, I wonder how much this could sell for it would be heartbreaking but when you need the money and you're having to go through it it's just yep it is like a machete to the heart it's like oh my god but it was a valuable lesson for me because now now I know, like, if I pay, and, and that's that's also why this this side of the room is not covered in in tons of Funko Pops and and you know two foot tall statues of Sylvanas and 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 whatever else. You're because you're I, the one that actually talked me down. I had a big problem with the graphics card that I bought recently. One, I didn't need it. I had a thirty eighty, um, and. Uh, it was just something that I, I, it was one of those very therapeutic moments. Like I have my, I have a chance to get a 3080 Ti right now that like, yes, it's $1,500. Um, hindsight, I shouldn't have, but I did. And, and, uh, yeah, I felt bad about that for quite a while. Uh, but Ms. Queeb, she, she's like, will it help? the stream like did it make you happy and i answered yes to both i mean technically it would 
kind of help the stream. <laughs> That's the stretching justification here. Um, but yeah, she she's the one that talked me talked me down on that one. Yeah, I mean, it, it helped that you um, you knew someone who would who would buy the other one, and so that that would take care of like a little chunk of it, and it's just, it's it's this it's a weird line that you have to tread like let like yes buy what you want like like buy what you want and make 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 yourself happy but you know make sure that you're not just spending money to spend money like I, me i know when i feel bad i need to go shopping like and not even maybe spend something i just need to go look and just like walk around and just like like process my thoughts especially after like this this month especially after yesterday and i know what my triggers are i've i've done the work to work through them so i'm i know i know what how how my brain thinks and and what my impulses are and i think that's something that you you're starting to work on like i think you're seeing me do it and with with the graphics card or whatever it was you um you would ask me or you don't you don't ask and we don't really ask if it's like a big purchase i i will just because I'm, that's me um my whole thing is if you if you say that you need it then you need it yeah. you don't need you don't yeah. need to convince me or anything like that like if you need it you need it it's cool torment thank you for the six month sub dude thank you. um i think we have a few people to thank king nest i think i thanked why am i doing this i might have missed yours earlier i apologize um, as famous streamer once said, I do have a case of the humanitis myself. So I've made a v couple of really fucking weird decisions here. Um, we've locked ourselves into devil deals again, which is fine. Let's see if there's a, what was the item? Right. Let's see if there's a battery. There is not. That's a shame. I'm a huge window shopper. I just like skimming Magic the Gathering listings on eBay. I buy some occasionally, but I love looking to see what's out there. Same. Like, I'm right now, like, I have a. I never know what's going to, like, strike my fancy. Um, I usually look at, at Facebook Marketplace for inspiration, not not still, to buy anything open. locally, but to um, to give me ideas on what I should look at on uh, on Etsy and on eBay and whatnot. And I'm generally into like more vintage stuff and you know we weird shit, like we talked about the antler thing yesterday or the day before, I think. Um, but yeah, like figuring out that one of my triggers for for something like like impulse shopping is is like if i'm if i'm in a, a bad sort of mood if i'm if i'm having a day like that that's been huge also going through the experience of having to sell my stuff in order to get myself across the country like that that has helped taper how much money i spend but then i have moments where my adhd is like let's 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 play guitar. Let's. What, what do you need to play guitar? You need you need a guitar. Let's buy a guitar. What what's a good guitar? <laughs> let's do a good one. Like, uh, like, I'm interested in foam craft. Like foam crafting weapons. Guess who doesn't cosplay? This this person. I don't cosplay. There's no need for me to have to know how to to make a foam crafted sword. That is that is like a replica of something in a video game that I've never played. Like, <laughs> exactly, torment. <laughs> exactly. Um, but like, figure figuring out what those triggers are and <sighs> this this adulting shit, man. I'm kind of over it. I want to just like go and, and just like blow money, but at the same time, like, no, I don't like. I don't need it. I'm good. I'm good. I'm fine. Sometimes it's nice to have the sanity check too. Absolutely. 
absolutely definitely okay i'm really pushing my luck here let's get the hell out of here do it So this is this is this tier is a actually an okay one. It's not it's not the auto fire fucking marked bullshit. Um, this is this is all right. Shit, we just got a planetarium as well. And this one has some great synergies also. Venus is good. Um, I don't know if I want to get it just yet, though. No, fuck it. Let's keep the eight lives. Those are called doom boxes. I, I, I've got, I've got some doom boxes. I've got some doom boxes. But one day, I hope, I hope I don't have any doom boxes. Are they an, an inherently bad thing to have? I know it's it's like ADHD triggers, right? But it, it's also, it, it's one of those things that you do have to keep in check because there is such a fine line between doom boxes, you know, just to... Everybody has like a box or two of, of shit that doesn't go anywhere. Like there's not like, like a junk drawer is a doom box technically. But I've seen so many people on on TikTok, and I know I would be very guilty of it, of having a doom room filled with doom boxes. Oof. And like like there there is a line mm -hmm. that you and you do have to keep yourself in check. Um, and I think especially with ADHD, like it, it's it's something weird because you have like what i was saying earlier you have to figure out is it is it is it you now that wants it or is it like your inner child that wants it or is it the adhd like does the adhd you want it like 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 what what, what is it what is the line and and you kind of have to you know make rules for yourself and whether you marie kondo it or whatever other popular organizational method there is out there you you have to figure out what works for you and you know when i was a teen i helped my parents move all their stuff to a storage unit so my mom could park in the garage again but now the garage is full of stuff my mother's the same way my mine put all of uh my baby stuff and like our our stuff like like important stuff in a storage unit and then she lost it like she didn't pay it and she lost it so i have i have a couple of handfuls of photos but i lost my original birth certificate my original baby book my first blanket that i could have handed down to my kid if i had one um my schoolwork from like the first elementary school i went to and like like really important stuff is just gone because that's what she did. She took stuff to storage, even though she couldn't even afford to pay her regular bill. She wanted to get a storage unit because she had no room. And even now, she just has stuff and she has stuff to have it. I have ADHD and barely buy anything unless I'm going to use it immediately and continuously. So my house is practically bare. It's kind of sad, really. It's a little sad, but if it if it's what helps you keep your ADHD in check, then it's not sad at all. It, it holds a purpose. It absolutely holds a purpose. Like, you know that there is a line. Like, you, you get to a point and you feel overwhelmed. Like, right now, I am overwhelmed by my house. But I also know that this house, like, what what's in it, I have seen far worse. But for me, like, this is a trigger. Like, after I get off here in a, in a little bit, 
uh, I'm going to go take care of Loaf and Zoe, and we're, well, I'm in the process of rearranging the front of the house so we have more room and have more storage, boxing up things that we don't use, taking it to Goodwill, because, you know, I, I want to get those, those deductions before the end of the year for next year's taxes, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Come on now. And, uh, you know, so like, like for me, my goal is by the end of the year to have everything at least to a point where it's not stressing me out. The deductions that no one gets anymore. <laughs> very, very n minimal, but I'll take what I can get. Uh, it's not a rule for me. I just don't buy anything. I'm starting to get that way. Um, but I, I don't know if it's my winter depression that's making me feel that way or if it's growth. I have no idea. Like, I went to, um, I went to this this thrift store today. I I rarely go to it because it's, it's in a weird place. Like, it's hard to get into. It's hard to get out of. Um, it's very small, and I I'm always made to feel like I'm not really welcome there. Like, my money isn't good enough. Um, just because everybody who works there just seems like they're in a bad mood. Use the command um, in the um. Actually, it's a few lines up, but use the command in the title. And uh, I ended up getting like a, a few t-shirts for me and Queeb to wear since we normally just wear the same shirts. Um, and uh, someone, someone had apparently given their entire collection of Mickey's and Minnie dolls that they had collected from the Disney theme parks. They just turned them over. They were like 20 or 30. And so I, I really wanted them just because I like, I've only, I've only been to Disneyland like, like twice. So it's not even like I've went to Disney, but I like, I felt sorry and I felt bad. And I'm like, no, no, no. Like the collection's going to be split up. And, and even while I was standing there, someone came by and they just like, they picked out three and walked off. And I was just like, what, how could you just buy three? And, and then the collection's ruined. I ended up getting the one from Fantasia and I brought him home and I'm going to clean him and I'll like, I've never owned a Mickey. So now I, I have a Mickey, which I think is cute. He's very adorable. He just has like a mark on his face, but I've just felt bad. And you know, like, like getting, getting emotionally attached to something that, that you, you have no business getting emotionally attached to. Snakes aside, obviously. Why? Why snakes aside? Snakes. Snakes can be very expensive. Oh. Snakes can be stupidly expensive. Right. Do did I need a fifth snake? No. Did did I feel an emotional pull to him? Yes. Well, then it wasn't a bad purchase. Yeah, but you know, it's it, it, it's a tremendous step going from three to five in a day. And that's not something we usually do. I mean, granted, we would have gone from two to four had we brought both Ripley and Murph home on the same day. And we, we couldn't, but. Well, because of that, we wouldn't have had. Um... We wouldn't have had Archie. That's it. Yeah, so it's fine. It's not like I, I go to the snake store every every weekend and pick up another one, so it's fine. I'm okay. Imagine if there was a snake store like that, and like all of them were like happy and healthy, and it was like, like I could just go and just like, <laughs> new snake Saturday. Don't tease me like that, Queeb. Oh, Queeb. <laughs> you know what day it is. <laughs> Like whenever, whenever I, whenever I got Archie and Murphy on the same day, I could have done the dick thing and I could have just went ahead and bought both. And I didn't want to do that. I wanted to let him know, hey, and we've, we've actually had this discussion. I will never bring home an animal unless it's like, I, it, it's like, I, I know where it's going next. Like I'm, I'm, I don't impulse buy animals. It's not my thing. Um. And I'm always going to have a discussion with him about it. 
before it happens. And, uh, I, like, I sent him a photo of Murphy. I'm like, so, um... You didn't even need to say a word. Yeah, like, I just, I sent him a photo, and he's like, is that the snake that we're getting? <laughs> <laughs> and he was, he had just woken up. He was in such a, like, he, he's, a, he's a grump when he wakes up. Like, not all the time, not even in half the time, but, like, there are times where he's just, he's fussy, and he's just... He sounds like he's being short with me and he's not. He's just, you know, he just woke up and I was trying to explain to him and I'm like, no, you don't understand. Like, like this, this is my snake. Like, this is my snake. And what I was going to do is put down a deposit on him because I knew like if I put down a deposit, at least that would reserve him. And if, it, if Queeb said no, I could at least get my money back and broken tap. Broken Tap Water. Hi! He does not. He will play on Christmas. So December 25th, if you come back around 6 p.m., maybe a little earlier, he will be playing Noita that day. But probably no other day. Mace, hi! How are you? Of course, Broken. You know, and thankfully, Kui was super cool with me randomly bringing home a snake. That was pretty baller of him. Even though he is a sassy baby and he hissed at me, but I don't care because I would hiss at me too. And that's on a good day. You should see me when I don't get sleep. <laughs> but no, Kui was super cool whenever I, I brought both of them home and... He gets very excited. He's like, like, can we get him out? I'm like, give me a second. Let me let me clean out their 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 enclosures. Let me just okay, can I do them now? Let me do them now. Like just very very five year old, I need to see it now. And he held both of them. He was like fell in love with Murphy, fell in love with, with bonus baby. Good here, got my booster this weekend and writing out the side effects each each jab has hit me for a day or two. Ah oh, fuck. Everybody keeps saying that. Fuck. It's gonna happen. But it's gotta be done. It would be one thing if I if I could actually like get a day off. You know, like like I could just go hunker down in bed. And and like just go through the side effects. And I can't. I still have to do everything I normally do, except now feeling like a pile of shit and <sighs> yeah, no. Snakes and lizards make great pets. I don't know where. <sighs> At least in my case, Broken, I figured it was my mother who was making me feel bad. Like, my mother hates snakes and lizards and anything that would be considered, like, creepy crawly. Biters, insects, like, even fish. And, and even to be fair, she does not like cats or dogs or even hamsters, guinea pigs, anything. She is not an animal person. Um, so I figured out that I hated snakes because she hated snakes. And once I was able to kind of go through that and, and learn more about them and uh, get comfortable, then I felt fine. Like, I bought Huxley without even ever touching a snake before. Like, I just figured, you know what? It's it's a pandemic. I'm not going to be able to randomly hold a snake. Let me just buy one. I'll just, I'll deal with it. Um, and the breeder even knew, like, hey, I've, I've never touched a snake before. Is that cool? Um, well, that's my, that's my pterodactyl in the other ring. Uh, and now we have five. A year and a half later, we have five. And they're, they're wonderful. I probably won't get any more anytime soon just because as is my my time is tapped like within 20 minutes of me going on stream today I had to feed three of them and record videos for everybody that had ordered the the name rat videos and like just it's five snakes plus two dogs plus two humans it's a lot of work but honestly like I, I am a little pissed off that I missed out on easily 
10 to 20 more years with my snake. Like I, I could have had a snake 20 years ago if I didn't have someone who was just like, oh, they're nasty, yeah, they're slimy, yeah, they smell, yeah. It was good, only mild symptoms for me, and it was better for SO this time. Each of the Pfizer shots knocked me out, but I got the Moderna booster and just had a headache. Someone did a breakdown of like the boosters saying that the Moderna booster was the best one to get. Um, we Apparently got... you can mix and match, mm -hmm. as long as the yeah. technology is the same. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so I'm, I'll probably do, uh, I'll probably want to do Moderna, just to, it seems like it's, it would be better. I don't but think we... we'll have a choice, but we'll, we'll get whatever we're given, right? But you can choose. I don't think we can get the the J and J booster, but we can either do the Moderna or the Pfizer. That's awesome. The effort sounds very worth it, though. I grew up catching snakes and stuff, so I never understood why people were so opposed to them. Do you have any reptiles broken? Like, do you have any now? They actually recommended getting a different booster from your original. Just got boosted today. My head is pounding. I had a choice at the CVS. I wanted to. Each place will let you know what vaccines they have available. That's cool. That's good to know. I'm honestly like whatever's gonna work and whatever is gonna have the least physical impact on me. That would be great. <laughs> that would be great. Like with the second shot, I had absolutely no side effect other than like my arm hurting for a little bit. But like the first one, I just felt awful. I felt like I was run over. And home COVID tests are super hard to find. Really? That that actually makes sense. I I never I never thought of that. I have Moderna. The booster was definitely ah fuck. Well, at least thanks thanks for warning me. I appreciate it. A lot of places ask you to tack on a flu shot too, kind of like a pizza place asking you to buy breadsticks. I've heard getting both at the same time. So that's what I've heard. That is what I have heard. Um, we've we've had our flu shot already. Yeah. So um, it, it's not going to be a fun time. I might be a little baby about it. It's fine. McLaffy yeah. Taffy was taken out for a few days. He still streamed, but he he definitely wasn't a hundred percent. Um, it's fine. It's all good. Whenever. Whenever Queen would like to get the booster, I will I will get it. I will make sure I get cake afterwards because I will be a good girl. Duh. I, I did get three slices of cake that are in there right now. Uh, what sort of cake did you get, Miss Queen? Um, I got a ch chocolate one. I got a tiramisu and then a... I think I got two chocolate. I either got two chocolate ones or I got a chocolate one and a carrot cake, but then the other one was a tiramisu. I got them because you know why? I was. I had a little. Because you're of an day. adult with adult money. I'm. I'm. I am an adult child with adult money. I've got money. I want to spend money on cakes. Um, yeah, so just little little slices. Um, because I was gonna get pie, but. Number one, the the pump or the the pecan pie that I bought for Thanksgiving, we didn't really eat that. Um, and I didn't remember that while I looked for the pecan pie at the store, they were completely sold out of pecan, pumpkin, apple. Yeah, they were like out of pie. Um, and so I was like, yeah, I'll just get a cake. I was gonna get a big cake. No place to put a big cake. I have room for three slices though, so I got three slices. Man, I could smash a whole tiramisu right now. Same. They, they had one. I would have bought it if it had not been $19. Um, Sorry, the, run that by me again? It was a $19 tiramisu. From where? From the grocery store. Like, from the bakery. Um, the fuck? What did you buy? Big. Was it a whole one? Oh, okay. It was like, it was... Okay. It was probably like the size... I don't know if this makes any sense to you. It was probably the size of like a boot box. Like when you buy a pair of boots, like that size box. Okay. So it was like huge. I was like, eh, no, slow down. 
Um, plus, I don't know if that's going to be something that you would eat. Are you kidding? I, I never know what's going to fall onto the approved list. Fair. <laughs> so I got a little square of tiramisu and then I got I think it's like two different chocolate kinds. What did you uh, get for yourself though? Oh, that tiramisu is mine. You better eat it quick. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> no, so I got three. I figure out of the three, you will eat. You will eat something. I'm gonna make a statement, and I am totally okay with being judged by it. It's totally cool. Like I'm, I'm fine. The tiramisu at Olive Garden is god tier, and I will die on that hill. I'm, I'm totally fine with that. Why is that even a? controversial it's, topic well because olive garden okay keep going why Be, because olive garden is trash who says i like well, it <laughs> the internet says it's trash it's oh so it's, it's like nickelback it's cool to hate it okay i got it not say no more <laughs> i fuck, fuck olive garden hate it shit <laughs> you what i tell you what there are two things at Olive Garden, well, obviously aside from breadsticks and salad, that I love, and it's the toasted ravioli. They're like crack. Do they put crack in them? They're amazing. And then they had, um, it was like, oh, well, I guess, I think it was like a, like a shrimp and veggie pasta. Like, it, it's basically, this sounds awful. It sounds like, like fajita vegetables with shrimp and like a light tomato sauce pasta like like really good like i want to say it's like rigatoni or something no penne i'm sorry it was penne super amazing super good oh. olive garden is nickelback i'm canadian so i can say that even though i don't mean it olive garden is good but it's generic exactly if you go to Olive what's, garden, what's wrong with generic why do you think McDonald's is popular? Is it because it's good for you? Is it because it's well made? No, it's I, it's exactly the same. No matter what country you go to, no matter time of day, it's that's the reason. It's yep. reliable. Absolutely. Like at most, the only thing you really have to worry about is like the soda machine. Like if they're gonna have their the right amount of like soda and carbonation. But aside from that, like literally. They use the same, I think they use the same vendors per region, but they have like the same vendors for everything else. I like their salad so much. I mean, oh, it's so good. We have some of the Olive Garden salad dressing in there. It's been in there a while, so I might need to throw it out, but like their breadsticks are just magical. The salad's super good. Like it's just, it hits the spot and it's something about the tiramisu. It's just, it's just, it's good. Like, I I know it's trash. I know Olive Garden is trash. I understand. But there's just, it's comforting. It's like, it's like the little cups that they have of mac and cheese, of the, the Velveeta shells and cheese. Does anybody eat those? Like, it's just, it's just comfort food. It's been a very long time since I've been to Olive Garden, but I remember my usual order, tour of Italy and the dream cheesecake. Hey, Ordinary. How you doing, dude? <laughs> forgot about the tour of Italy. What? Hold on. I forgot. Have I had that before? Oh, those red lobster biscuits. We have a box in the um, in the cupboard that I can make. I was going to try to make them and then I forgot to get the cheddar, um, the cheddar cheese for it. I'm like, fuck it. I'm not going back to the store. But then I still have to go to the store anyway tomorrow because uh, I have to leave the house early if I want to get stuff mailed out because people are fucking crazy. This is a fucking wild run. I don't know how much health I've got, by the way. Lock, you don't need to know my you don't need to know my location, brah. I d I don't care. I I, I... Uh, right. Thank you. Someone, someone at SeniorCareToShare.com said, question, what is in the tour of Italy at Olive Garden? How much is the tour of Italy at Olive Garden? How many calories are in the tour of Italy at Olive Garden? 
uh, it is the chicken parmigiana, the lasagna classico, and the fettuccine. That is why I didn't get it, because of the fettuccine alfredo. I don't eat white sauce. The answer of all the calories. Ordinary, that sounds familiar, the mushroom sauce. Maybe a pet? I don't know. Why it says the occasional banquet turd. Those little pot pies. Oh, so good. So good. Waffle House used to have the best chocolate pie on the menu. I would fight people for it. There is a place. Uh, I think they're in the... I think they're in Studio City. They're pie shops. One is called 4 and 20, like 4 and 20 Blackbirds. It's very clever. Very clever. Funnily enough, um, that is the name of a supermarket brand frozen pie, meat pie, proper pie okay. in Australia. Yeah. Yep. They do little sausage rolls, party, party pies, which you probably oh. have no idea what they are, but. Is that anything like a hand pie that you introduced me to whenever we went to that one place? No, a hand pie is what we would call a meat pie. Okay. I'm learning stuff all the time being married to an Australian. Um, and then there's also a, like, I guess a rival pie, pie. <laughs> like Fucking a rival hell. pie shop and it's called house of pie. Mm -hmm. but, yeah. So like both of them, I normally get the pecan pie with the side of, uh, vanilla ice cream because of course, but they do have like pot pies there and they're baller, but they're just, they're, um, what's the, um, they're dense. They're very dense, and it just like it just sits like lead. So whenever I go, I will just get like, and be like, oh, no, I don't feel like getting anything, and then just wait till it's like, yeah, can I? So let's pecan pie to go. I got banned from Red Lobster for stealing their biscuits. Why would you get banned for stealing the biscuits? Because they never give you enough. I would fight a guy if he didn't give me enough. You keep talking about fighting. You you haven't I, fought a person in your entire life. You know what? In my mind, I have. Okay. <laughs> in my mind, I have. If you go to Olive Garden expecting some five-star god-tier cuisine that was featured on some Guy Fieri project, sure, there's a disappointment straight jacket you can put yourself in, but going to Olive Garden as a trip to Olive Garden, A-okay. There is... There is a place that is within driving distance and when i say that i mean it is within five miles of my house that was featured on diners drive-ins and dives and it, it's like five or ten miles from my house and they have kalua pork egg rolls kalua pork kalua pork egg rolls okay they're deep fried and it, it it's it's so good like it's it's so good like just and every everything on the menu it changes like they have some staples but a lot of stuff um a lot of stuff it's like it they're not gonna have like a chicken piccata every day like if if they they get like good chicken in like like good chickens then they'll do it but otherwise like it's it's a very small place there's like like three tables and inside the place and it's like it's it's magical it's just magical don't dox yourself now i keep telling miss queeb i'm like you keep talking about addresses and locations i'm like look i sound like a texan i can't say that i'm not from texas that's fine okay. Like, like there are things that. But you've you've spoken about the primary school you went to. Mhm. Mm <laughs> That's something I wouldn't recommend, but you trust the internet more than I do. Primary school that no longer exists. There you go. There's some more information. <laughs> the the school is no longer there. <gasps> Come on by, Tetris. Come on by. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Scroll back up. Let's talk about how damn great pecan pie is. I normally don't make it, right? Like, it's just, it's not my thing. I'm not going to make it. Um, because I know that I, 
all of the work that I do to make it, I don't think it's going to taste as good as the best pecan pie that I've ever had. That being said, there is one recipe that I have made. I cannot find it anymore. I do not remember how to make it, but it was a bourbon chocolate pecan pie and it was decadent. It was so good. I got compliments anytime I would make it, like bring it into work or bring it to uh, to friends' houses. Like just phenomenal pecan pie. If it's, it is so good. Olive Garden rule for breadsticks: number of people at table plus one. That's even that's fucking meaner. That's just that's inciting sorry. violence. Yeah. Absolutely. I think I think uh, Cheesecake Factory does the same, and mm -hmm. everyone goes for the dark rye, whatever the fuck it's called, bread. Case in point. It's so good, and I've bought it at the store, and it's not the same. It's not. The same. Uh, five star dining isn't all that's cracked up to be, in my opinion. I'll take the Olive Garden brand Chef Boyardee any day of the week. Kestrel is correct. Like it, it's. I, lo whatever. I love it when someone who knows Olive Garden takes you there or you go there, whatever. Um, mm -hmm. And they go, okay, you've got you've to try this. Okay, you've got to try this. I'm already got fucking salad dressing all over my breadsticks. And they go, so you dip the... And then they look at, oh, okay, you already know. They get so disappointed. It's like, yeah, sorry about sucking the wind out of your sails. They're excited. Used to work with a guy who um we we went to olive garden for lunch one day and um we came back and and the boys they asked uh so where'd you go and we said oh, um, olive garden and they went oh a little bit of gay panic you know it's very funny um in the unsure of your own sexuality group i guess and um sadly that uh yeah I'm very yeah. Sadly, sadly, I left that group of people. What a what a shame. Come to KY. You've got those pies everywhere. Which, which pies? Pecan pies. Don't get him excited. Don't 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 do it. Um, I've already committed to going to see uh, Laffy Taffy. He's in. Country road, take me home. West Virginia. Um, no, yes, somewhere up there, no, north, northeast, I think. Um, he's got a new griddle, and uh, he invited me, and I and I said, say say less, fam. <laughs> Look at everyone, in Richmond. Torment with the way I say it, or the way Queeb says it. Let's me. Um, hold on. I'm slowly working my way through chat, you guys. I gladly eat spaghetti and meatballs straight from a can cold that should crack. You are correct, Sergeant Kenai, sir. I have some. No, I don't. I ate the last of it. it it's it's my comfort food. The spaghetti and the ABCs and one two threes. The, that's my comfort food, especially with barbecue chips. Barbecue, yeah, barbecue chips. Very good. Can I explain um, what a griddle is in Australian English? No, that word doesn't exist in Australia. Brought a backpack with to-go containers and filled the bag and raised to leave. After not buying anything, they stopped me at the door. My picture still hangs on the wall to this day many years ago. Oh my fucking Christ. This build is unreal. Like, I've had to work to get it, but... I now shoot frozen, deadly ice beams. So, Miss Quib needs to join a course on internet security and what's fine this year. I'm I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I have existed on the internet as a woman for 20 years. I'm I promise I'm doing good. Uh, five star dining is a bunch of bluster uh, about overly fancy ingredients and names you can't. You are correct. Although I will say, I've been to a few nice places, and it was very nice. 
to like just go and and have like a change of scenery, but it's not something I would like to do constantly. Dude has RVA in his panels below stream. L What's RVA? Oh, Richmond, Virginia. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Taffy crew up in here. LOL. Uh, to me, there's only Yeehaw Country, desert, and that one part where family trees are circles of the U.S. You're correct, Asusa. Hi, by the way. Miss Miss Quib, I'd like it. It, it, I know it's a meme, and I know I've been talking about him a lot, but I, I really want you to meet him. Like, I, Taffy. Laffy Taffy. I've never met a more genuine person on the internet. So. Then we'll do it. What's the equivalent? Like a giant. Like a, a griddle is like a hot plate you can cook on the side. Of yeah, for real. If you have a little. A little. Hold on. L I B L. Little to supermarket, right? Whoa. I. Oh, there it is. Little grocery store, low prices. <laughs> oh, it looks like we. Yeah, we're. It's East Coast. Yeah. Out of luck there. What was the. What was the supermarket everyone in Florida fucking raved about? Fucking Publix, man. Publix. Publix hey, sucks. You... To be fair. Go on. The chicken. Mm -hmm. Breaded chicken strip. Or, or sandwich. Ch chicken tendy fucking sandwich. Holy fuck. What? That... He oh. raved about this thing. And I, I tried it. I'm like, eh, it's okay. And he's like, it's what? He was just so blown that I, I like was not into it. One hundred percent, Ms. Queeb and Taffy would get along well. Taffy's such a wonderful dude. Taffy, th this is a, apparently a, a Taffy Stan account now. Might as well Taffy's be. Amber and Ms. would get along. I don't know that person, but I will take your word for it. I'm sure they are lovely. If Taffy... um, depending how late stream goes, I I I like to raid him when I can. Um, he's a daytime streamer, so he uh, he's perfect raid bait. But um, if not, let him know. I want Ms. Queeb to meet him. I think that, yeah, you get along like a, a house on fire. Not just any house on fire. The one where the kid's standing out front looking really menacing, like she did it. That kind of house on fire. I feel like Tavia is much more experienced talking to different people. I'd be able to get along with pretty much every type of person. He's also a hugger, which is kind of cute. Amber's best Tavia. Did I tell you that my house caught on fire as a kid? No. I just remember. Um, my mother's boyfriend fell asleep with his cigarette lit. Um, on his side of the bed in their room. And it caught fire. I'm shocked. I know, How right? did that happen? It's so shocking. My mother... I remember my mother waking me up and she's like, she was like, get up, you have to go get the car. And then she just leaves the room. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. I like, whatever, I grab my blanket. I start to walk out and I see the fire in her room and I'm like, and I just continue to walk out to the car. I get in the back seat and I'm there for like two seconds. Sorry, can like, you, can you run that reaction by me again? I... So I was like, I was, for 15 or 16. Okay. By this point, I'm fucking done. Like, if I had money, I would be tapping out. Like, I'm done. Like, I've, I've like gone through all the trauma bullshit. I'm over it. And so she wakes me up and she's like, you need to need to get out of the house. There's a fire. And she like leaves the room. I go out to the car. I, like I saw the fire. I'm like, oh, whatever. Look, I hope it burns down. I go out to the car and I'm in the back seat and I'm like, it's really cold out here. I should go put on some pants. I go back into the house. I go back into the house. <laughs> 
Go back to my room. The, her bedroom's still on fire. Go back to her, my room. I put on clothes and she runs into me in the hallway and she's ushering my brother. She's like, what the fuck are you still doing in the house? And I'm like, I was cold. And she's like, get the fuck outside. And she doesn't curse. So she like, she takes us outside and we get in the backseat of the car and I'm, if I'm 16, my brothers are under like 10. So like they're, you know, they're able to like move move around but she's like she's she's babying them way too much i did go back to the house i didn't care i was cold it was winter i i don't give a shit um we didn't have any pets uh that would have been impacted like she made our dog sleep outside so dog was fine we actually speaking of we okay. need to get um like just in case because we have a lot of heating mm -hmm. equipment in the house of the snakes and um or sure is that what this is going up to well, lead to? not just but like a, a prep bag so we can put them all individually safely in a in a container to take them with because that's going to be we my have, first fucking priority we have three snake bags we have four counting archies um we do not have a snake bag for murphy but I have ordered some. I'm waiting for them to arrive. Okay. They they have a bin that they're going to go in. Everyone's going to go into a bag. Uh, Mr. Fatty Fat Fat will go into a pillowcase because he fit. Um, but yes, I've already thought about that. Who are you that. talking about? Who, whoever could I mean? <laughs> the, the one who is begging for food but does not want to eat. The one who is just... He's perfect. Let's just be honest. He's perfect. Um, yeah, like I just, I went back in. I didn't care. It, it was over. They didn't call. Here, here's how white trash. I'm allowed to say that about my family. They are white trash. Here's how white trash they were. They didn't call the fire department. Their house is on fire. They didn't call the fire department, but they were able to to get it out, right? So like her wall was was scorched, her carpet was was burnt, and like literally within ten minutes I was back in my bed. It was very quick. Yeah, it was suburbs. Very quick, but yeah, house was on fire, and I I literally did not care. But I do believe like I remember looking at the house and I, I think I was like, oh, well, I don't see smoke coming out anywhere. Like smoke isn't coming out of the windows or the doors. Like there's no smoke, so it, it's fine. But I did not give a shit. I was like, no, I'm cold. You would think if this was very important to this woman and she wanted us to go sit out in the car, like, like go start the fucking car. Give your 16-year-old daughter the keys to the car so she can start the car and get it warm for your kids. Because, I don't know, te Texas doesn't have a lot of snow most of the time, but it does get cold at night. So let your fucking 16-year-old start the fucking car. Like, just... So yeah, be, well, my mom's a twat, that's all. That's all it comes down to, my mom's a twat. Meanwhile, Queebot is just going off, just... Just boom, boom, boom. People want to see what the game of the day is. Let's do it. Did you get the thumbnail updated? Mm-hmm. Cool. Torment can't confirm. It is cold in Dallas. On the kid. It, it is cold as balls in Dallas sometimes. Like, in any any kind of weather that, that you're not expecting, you, you... It's like, it's just, it's so bizarre. Flannel! Night! night. What the... 19 months. We've been streaming a while, Miss Queep. Look, for you, I will boop one snake. It'll probably be Huxley because he'll be waiting at the door because he wants to eat. It's 43 in Texas right now. Oh, I'm so jealous. Oh, my God. I would be outside in tank top in shorts. I would be so happy. You're so not. Come on. <laughs> I miss it. Oh, I miss it so much just just like so like like cold like 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 just like i can't i, I can't explain it. it it's a combination of it being cold and and so so i drove overnight 
it took me a couple of days to drive from from Texas to Florida. Or right, hang on one sec. Where is it you think when someone says they're in New York? Is this a is this a hey, let's uh let's test the geography of an Australian? Um well, I'll return that question with a question. State or city? He's hey, John nice. C. Stout, what's up, dude? Good to see you, man. Hi. Um, oh, he, he's got me. He knows my uh, secret. Um, drove through from Texas to Florida, and I stayed the night over at uh, my aunt's house because she was like halfway through. And she lives in the country, like the country country. And... I had to take the dogs out. We we got there about midnight and I needed to take them out um, once I got there and then they needed to go out again like about four o'clock in the morning. Went outside. It's probably about 30 some odd degrees. So it, it's like the, the air has like a good chill, but it's quiet and there's no lights anywhere because you know, like it's out in the country. Nobody needs their fucking porch lights on unless somebody's coming. Like, if you're expecting someone to come to your house, yeah, you'll leave the porch light on, but otherwise you don't. So, like, the sky, I could see all of the stars. It was beautiful. And it's just, it, it, there's something different about, like, being in, like, a more, like, a, like, a more country-type area when it's cold. Not snowing. Not windy. It's just cold. Like, it, it, I've had a similar feeling when, uh, there was like I've talked I've talked before about like we had a bad ice storm in in Dallas a few years before I moved and got iced in my house without electricity for a few days it was like awful but there was like a ton of snow on the ground which Texas rarely sees but it was just silent outside it was just cold and silent and it was just nice so y'all know what I'm talking about just like nice you want to talk about cold? I was deployed to Iraq. 130 degrees went on leave to Wyoming in the middle of winter to hunt. So below zero. Holy shit, airborne. What the hell? Freedom number freedom numbers are hard. It's 43 like 8-ish degrees Celsius. It's two here. Quiet, thank you so much for hanging out with us. I super appreciate it. Hopefully we'll see you tomorrow. If not tomorrow, maybe the day after. If we don't, have a wonderful Christmas. Or Kwanzaa or Malakaliki Maka, whatever you have. Have a good one. Later, quiet. Take it easy. Thank you for stopping by. And that being said, I need to go take care of children for a bit, so I will be back later. Please enjoy your stream. Give me a few and I will be back. Bye bye. Bye. Worst decision you've ever made. You look like the younger brother from a Christmas story. You'll shoot your eye out. Randy says, Miss Creep, I can't remember a Christmas story. As a non-American, that movie doesn't mean too much to me.
I was muted, yes. Thank you for telling me. Most people don't consider there's another place other than New York City. Do you blame them? Doesn't make any sense. Um, I was just answering the question to Tetris. The, the game last night was uh, very cool. I liked it. It's weird. Very different. Um, but yeah, like I, I'll probably play that one off stream given how divisive it seemed to be. Like I ended up having a, a, a 10 minute conversation with someone that could have been avoided um, if I just banned them and moved on instead of actually trying to understand reasoning behind the, com the, the comments that they made. It's just weird and awkward, so sorry for that. What pill you got? M oh, okay, that one hurts. Can't find a PS5 to save your life? They're still really hard to get, huh? Still waiting for their clipped proof. Ah, look, it was a dumb, it was a dumb, com dumb conversation. I don't even dislike the person for saying it, but I definitely shouldn't have fucking. That was. I, I rewatched the VOD, and I was like, this is fucking dumb. And I just kept. I, I I was waiting at the title screen essentially for for ten minutes, just talking to this person about why I disagree with what they said. Um. Yeah, it was fucking, it was fucking dumb. Like, rules aside, if a streamer says something, maybe don't try to insult them or prove your point or whatever that went on last night. It was just, it was weird, like I said. Sorry, when you say dead space, what are we talking about? Are we talking about New York still, or are we talking about... Um... Uh... Shit, I've forgotten the name of the game already. Death Stranding. We're talking about dead space. There is a lot of dead space in dead space, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is there a way I can stop shooting without leaving the room? Right trigger. Awesome. Thank you. That is supremely helpful. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, I think chat's told me that before. Just completely forgot. I shouldn't have taken amnesia. What an idiot. Hey, nice. Such a weird game. Fun. <laughs> but Hideo Kojima is an expert in weird. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, very different. And it doesn't explain a lot. Like you have to, you have to really pay attention to sort of find out even some of the mechanics in the game 
I did struggle with the interface a little bit. Um, a lot of the button presses seemed very odd to me. Like, I don't know why they decided to do that. Um, it had a... What would be the word? Overly futuristic. And I think it lost some of the, the natural instincts when it comes to UIs. Um, as a result. Just to roam around and look at the scenery. I mean, for that alone, it's, it's worth. You'd probably enjoy it more than the average person. Like the term walking simulator. Every time someone came in and said that, one, it wasn't clever. Um... And it's, it's obviously, you know, it's a meme at this point. But I, I felt like they were, they were projecting an, a negative when that was being said. What's up, Varkin? That's true. Our butt count was up to four last night when we ended. Um, yeah, Norman Norman Reedus butt was was uh, welcome addition to the game for sure. is not the way. How come I went for devil deals? Because uh, I accidentally got teleported there. That's nine times out of ten. The only reason I'd do that. And my first pickup was... had nine lives already my first pickup was the homing tears or whatever and then uh sister maggie um it just made sense the fact that i had nine lives and then yeah and i'm glad i did i mean look look at the run it's wild i don't much care for this um oh god what's the name of the item i looked it up a second ago. Eye of the Occult. I don't much care for it, but it's much better than Marked at the very least. Actually, with Brimstone, it's the same, but... Yeah. No, zero complaints on this run. This is stupid powerful. Oh, fuck it, why not? What difference does it make? Oh, now it's auto-shooting? Nope, same. And I can stop it. Okay. Oh, and then we got Arky. Um, we got Leviathan, now Beezlebub. Like, yeah, it's just gone from strength to strength. I restarted using Arky after I got four flies? Is it four or five? One, two, three, four, I think. Uh, the four red flies.
Anti-grab, sure. This is probably weird. Oh, shit. Yep, that's weird. It's not going to cost me the run, but I probably shouldn't have done that one. Highest attack power you've seen? <laughs> you are in for a treat. <laughs> this is nothing. <laughs> this is the tame run. Cool beans. Lock it in. Finished by 940. Not bad, Queeb. Not bad. I did start a little bit earlier today. And we had strong runs for both of them. So it's good. 23 runs? 23. Almost halfway there. Kind of excited. Had a hard time trying to explain the game to your wife? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a fair statement to make. All right, let's um let's switch games. I'm going to do a few things. Sky, thank you so much for the raid. How you doing, dude? Hope everything's good. Uh, I don't even have Into the Breach downloaded, I don't think. Nope. 238 megabytes. Man, that's gonna take so... Never mind, it's done. What did you stream tonight, Sky? And then I'll have to add this as well. Raid and run. No sweat, dude. Take it easy. Options. Create a new profile. Wait, 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 wait. wait. I, don't need, I don't want a new run. All right, hang on. Options. Here we go. Cursor sensitivity. Uh, full screen. There we go. Stretch scaling. Stretch art and UI when adjusting to larger resolutions. Helpful for high 1440p or more resolution. Okay, yep. Done. Oh, yeah, that works. We can change as needed, I guess. Cool. Game capture into the breach. Nice. And I've heard this has a really good soundtrack too. I've heard. Overwatch and Rocket League, right on. I tried to I tried to get into Rocket League once and um I'm fucking shit at it. <laughs> like Yeah, pretty fucking bad. Into the breach, it's today's game of the day. Any game that you see me play, if it's one that you like. 
thank Ms. Queeb because she's the one that cho has chosen all of these. All right, give me one sec. We're going to BRB. And I'm going to run a quick ad. Get another drink, run to the restroom. Yes, my, my drink is dry. I must replenish. Later, Sky. Take it easy. Heard the FTL soundtrack, so it can't be surprising to go right one too. Um, is it the same composer? All right, give me a sec, folks.
Hell yeah, let's do this. I'm excited. Beer or bed? Okay. Um, alright. End turn confirmation, grid coordinates, game timer, larger fonts. We'll confirm whether or not we want to keep that. Quick select. Use directional buttons to cycle between units on the board. Up and down selects allies left and right. Now, do you mean up and down or do you mean WASD? Game gamepad. Hmm. We'll see if I want to change that or not. Edit hotkeys. ASDF. Okay. Beer or bed prediction. Sorry, I, d I have no idea what you're talking about. What's up, Shade? Great to see you, man. Open a breach. Time to go back and try again. Did I not close the previous? No, I did. So I guess this is me, change time traveler. We haven't unlocked new characters yet. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Should you have another beer or go to bed? <laughs> Based on the last three sentences that you've asked, bed sounds really good. Um, Anime Daddy, what's up, dude? Good to see you playing a new game well it's not a new game it's a new game for me i've once played this before um but uh but yeah we, we're gonna we're gonna learn today victory medals two island victory none three island victory none four island victory watery grave drown three enemies in water in a single battle note achievements earn you coins to unlock new mech squads Ramming speed. Kill an enemy five or more tiles away with dash punch. Island secure. Complete the first corporate island. Ashwood, it was up to the 25th. It is now all month. We, we going the whole way. We're going New Year's Day. And to be fair, I'll probably just keep streaming after that anyway, but... But yeah, an extra... You get an extra week of Queeb Vent. So, combat, combat Mech. This is my... Click to rename. Combat Mech. Titan Fish. Oh, here we go. Titan Fish. This prime class weapon. Punch an adjacent tile, damaging and pushing it. Okay. Dash... Plus three damage. Looks like we can upgrade each move as well, huh? Three health. Three movement. Prime. This mech's class determine which weapons it can use without a power penalty. Stopped altogether? Yeah, no, once the event's done, that's it. I don't I don't need an income. I don't need to pay my rent, so. No, we're we're good. <laughs> Fuck that. I actually enjoy streaming. I like what I do. Taurus Cannon. So this is a... It pushes them back. One damage. And I guess it pushes back one or does it push it to the edge? That we'll have to learn. Three and three again. And brute. Without a power penalty. Ah, oh, so it seems we can equip different equipment. Oh shit, artillery. Damaging a single tile and pushing adjacent tiles. 
Ooh, very, very strategic indeed. All right. What happens if we click change squad? Oh, we need to unlock more squads. Okay. Okay. Is there, um, let me check Steam real quick. Is there store page? If there's DLC for this, I'll go, I'll go ahead and buy it. There's not. No. Okay. Beat the game, beat the game on hard, adaptable victory. Beat the game at least once per length. Two, three, and four corporate islands secured. Squad's victory. So this has all come with, with time, I think. Unlock a new mech squad, emerging technologies. Okay. Okay, okay, whatever. It, it doesn't matter. Let's go, start. Pew. No way I'm in hell I'm letting Vec take this island. Power grid. You lose if this reaches zero, reducing every time a powered building is damaged in combat. It says damaged, not destroyed. Maybe that's one and the same. Okay. Museum Island React recreates old earth as it was before the oceans rose and nearly wiped out humani humanity it's a temperate environment looks like we have mountainous terrain flat terrain um shrubberies and water and it's run by dewey alms fucking jerk i don't know he's probably a good guy The bad news is the Vec are overrunning our island, putting refugees and historical artifacts at risk. The good news is we have old earth military artifacts that can help in the fight. Combat simulation. There is a combat simulation available to get new commanders up to speed with mechanized combat. Would you like to launch the simulation? Fuck yeah, let's go. Tutorial. Seven turns remaining. That happens to be equal. This is what delivers power to your mechs. If it is reduced to zero, you lose. Okay. Victory in seven turns. All enemies will retreat in seven turns. Oh, okay. So we just have to survive for seven turns. Okay. Okay. Enemy attacks. Every enemy... Attack is forewarned. Next turn, this one will attack the buildings. And that's two powered buildings. Okay. Offer of an enemy to see details about its attack. Is it two or one? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so no, that's that's one technically. Uh, ground tile, no special effect. Firefly, no movement. He's not He's not moving because he's attacking or he doesn't have any movement at all. Maybe because he's attacking. Combat mech. This is your combat mech. It can punch any adjacent tile. Select your mech now by clicking on it. And we can move it. Let's move it here. And we know that punching... Mech repair. Repair one damage and remove fire, ice, and acid. Weapon use. You can also select numbers. Okay. You may not move after you've shot a weapon. So it's move then attack only. And if we punch him, it says two damage. And moves him one over. He's gonna now attack. Okay, so he doesn't change his his strategy either. He's gonna he's gonna attack no matter what. He's gonna hit the mountain, which is fine. Pushes can save buildings from enemy attacks, or even make enemies attack each other. I can see now why. When I was playing, 
um, fights in tight spaces that this was brought up. It was brought up over and over again, and I can see why almost immediately. Fuck, fights in Fitz was good, man. Fitz is an excellent game. When all of your mechs have used an action or there is nothing left for your units to do, you can end your turn. Wasn't quite FTL, but it's still a great game. Um, I, I, if that's, if that's kind of, that, that sentiment, I think was why it wasn't very highly regarded when it first came out, but I, it, it's become a cult classic since possibly. I remember people talking negatively about it because they expected FTL2 or what, whatever the fuck, right? Uh, when all of your mechs have used an action, there's nothing left for your units to do. You can end your turn. Oh shit, you actually did damage to the mountain. This is your cannon mech. It shoots a projectile that travels in a straight line until it hits another object. New or never, thank you so Five gifted subs, dude, thank you so much. You absolute legend. Thank you, that's very kind. Paying forward a gift they got from Sergeant Kenai. The main difference is that it's not quite as replayable as FTL. Got it. And that might be what Crow was referring to earlier as well. He said that he put in 100 hours, but... Um... um but yeah, the, the meta progression is what he was referring to, I think. Something about that. Oh, it's not telling me what to do, so I just have to figure it out. So it pushes an enemy. We kind of want to do the same thing here. This, this is wrapped. It's like got a spider web around it. Can we move you here? Yeah. So let's do that. And we're going to attack here. Yes! And you are going to fucking smack this motherfucker again. Ah, he's dead anyway. Got it. End turn. Artillery mech. Artillery weapons can shoot over obstacles like mountains, but cannot shoot shoot adjacent tiles. Okay, fair. Artillery mech's weapon will only damage units on the center tile while other adjacent units are pushed away. So it'll damage this one and push this this way and this this way, I guess. And you happen to have two health. Well, isn't that convenient? Nope, only one damage. But... We can still punch with this one and finish the job. Did you see that? This unit fell into the water, killing it instrument. In instrumentally? Instantly. Right on. Cool, cool, cool. Uh maybe bring you a little closer. Action available. Yeah, you don't need to do anything. Oh, okay, okay.
What does flying mean? Okay, first things first, we need to fucking back off a little. Wait. See what we got here. You can only fire in a straight line. So if he punches this one, pushes him here. Or if we can push this one. What happens if something gets slammed into a mountain? And then we still got this one to worry about as well. Shit. Click on the unit. Ah. Can move over any terrain tile. Got it. Thank you. Completing missions. Every mission you win by surviving until the Vec retreat. It's it's weird. There's no music at all here. Maybe this is just for the tutorial. Bonus objectives. Missions have also have bonus objectives. Kill all enemies before they retreat. Got it. So what we could do as well is push this guy here. Therefore stopping this attack. That's one possibility. We punch this guy to here, then we launch this guy from here over to here. This will push... No, it'll hurt this guy. And it'll push this guy. Meaning this, this thing won't be attacked, but... It's still better than us taking any damage at all and the building getting hit. Okay, let me let me run that through again. Punch you. Artillery here. Pushes that, pushes that. This guy moves. Ah, this is still a problem, though. Cardinal directions only. Okay. Same. Same. Yeah, this one's a problem. Alpha projectile the damages and pushes. So we could put him... When this guy fires... The others only get pushed, they don't take damage. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Cinder, I might have I might have misunderstood what Crow said. Um but yeah, it's it's he it, it just said the the meta was limited. I'm not sure what he meant by that. I wonder if there is a solution here where I mean, in theory, I could push this guy out of the way by moving here. That also means we're going to get pushed by this shot. Unless we resolve that first. That's not a bad idea. Push him out of the way. 
Okay, so you get punched from here to here. You launch your shit from here. Ah, we push first. Then we drive this guy over. Okay, I'll I'll we'll we'll do it. This is only a tutorial. This, we're not gonna lose anything anyway, so it's fine. Okay, so that's dead. Although that will take care of that, interestingly. So we do have a solution here. No, we don't. No, you've got to get pushed. You've got to start getting pushed as well. Yep, you're next. Artillery. Okay, so they take one damage from hitting the mountain. Pushing into objects deals one damage, yeah. Pushing into things deals one additional damage to both the mountain and the, the little dude. Now you are going to go here. And fire your little cannon, dude. There we go. Okay, so what does threatened mean? Threaten just means I'm going to take damage, huh? Checking out attack order. Shows that actions will happen during the enemy turn. Hotkey left alt. Ah, who to take out first. Okay, this was really important in, in fights in tight spaces too. We don't want to. We don't want to artillery this. That's a problem. And what range, sir, do you have? Doesn't say the range of his his goo shot. Um. Actually, the only thing we need to do here. Here's a question. If I launched an artillery on this guy, would the force from the pushback hurt the building if there's nothing that's getting pushed into it? Like if it's just a push. No. Okay. That's good to know as well. So he can punch him. This guy's only got one health, so it's dead anyway. What we could do, artillery this, it pushes him over, turn number one, he dies. Hello. Hello. Okay. So one is a tiramisu. Are we talking about the, we're talking about the cakes again? Yes. One is... An M and M candy cookie dough cake. Sorry, you're Please a little, you're a little loud right now. Um, Are you calling I'm in? Talking more. 
Yes. Oh, okay. That's why. From my phone. I'm obviously not sitting behind you. And the third one is a tuxedo truffle mousse cake. Okay. So I'll take the tiramisu then. That's fine. You'll take the one that I want, obviously. Oh, oh, did you want that one? Okay. No, no I'm sorry. <laughs> I. Well, you are the chocolate lover, so that's why I got you two chocolate slices, and I took the non-chocolate slice. But I will share the tiramisu with you. Thank you, baby. You're welcome. Would you like it now or later? No, no, no. It's good. No, I'm later. Okay. Okay. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Punch this guy. Artillery that guy. That pushes him over to the building, which is bad. Artillery first, though. That's what I was thinking of. So we're artillery here. Kills him. Pushes this over to here. That kills this one. And then... I just wait it out, I guess. Instead of attacking him. Hmm. I wonder if there's a way I could kill this one instantly. Not really. I'm kind of in an awkward position. Oh, actually. It, it would be an extra turn anyway. I'm thinking an instant kill by pushing into water. But that, yeah, it would be, uh... Yeah, okay. Alright, we're gonna go here. Ciao. No damage to the building, confirmed. Um Right, this thing is technically still attacking. I wonder if there was a, a first turn victory there. Let's just confirm. So you're going to attack you, you're dead, and then I just wait. It does seem like a waste. If you killed the wasp, you could have killed the spider. Oh, killed it with this. Moved him here. Shot him. And then... And then moved... And then punched with... Okay. Or vice versa. E either way. Um, well, we're just going to do a single... A single punch here. ka -chow. Done. Simulation complete. Thousand civilians protected. Um, damage power grid. The power grid connects every corporate island. Any damage it takes in missions will persist. The VEC caused damage before you arrived, but there will be opportunities to restore it. Okay. Mission rewards. Every mission has different potential rewards for completing bonus objectives. You won't be able to do every mission on the island, so choose carefully. Power cores used to upgrade your mechs. Grid power restores your power grid. If your power grid reaches zero, you lose. Corporate reputation used to purchase items once the island is secure. Warning. Missions with more potential rewards will have additional dangers. Okay. Defend the train. Warning, air support. Block Vex spawning three times. Protect the coal plant.
You've been mad at yourself for not seeing the future actions that could happen. This is a future chess game. N new, or, new or never. <laughs> Alright, well, let's get the... Um, the bonus objectives. Block Vex spawning three times and protect the coal plant. We've got air support. Let's do the, the more simple of the two here. Defend a train... Overseeing maintenance on the old earth locomotive myself. Good thing, too. When the Vex struck, old Horus became the backbone of our supply lines. Okay, so we've got... It shows you where they're going to come from. Soldier Scion. All other Vex receive plus one HP as long as the Scion is living. Well, we can't have that. Oh, I've got to select where to drop my drop my dudes. Anywhere in the yellow spots, huh? No water to, to dump them in? Uh, what happens if they reach the edge of the map? Anything? Victory in... Four turns, wow. Nothing, got it. A lot of planning ahead required? Yeah, it does seem that way. I hope Ms. Quee put fights in tight spaces on, on the list, because I'd like to revisit that. I think it's had a few updates. Since I last played. Which one are you? Taurus class. That's just a regular. Cannon go boom. Can they pass through each other? That's one thing I don't know yet. The mechs, Dad, look! Enemy activity. Well, they can pass through each other. Oh, you're just going straight for the train. No, no, no. Seismic readings. Emerging enemies. An enemy unit will emerge here next turn. You can temporarily block enemies from spawning, but it will damage the blocking unit. Didn't I have to do that for bonus objective? Passive bonus to a Levec, killing it removes the bonus. Yes. No, this one's just defend the train. Oh, hold up. It will... Oh. Friends can't th pass through each other. Okay. So the best course of action here would be... has to come first. Oh, bummer. Okay. Huh. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to have to put you here. This is your first bits. Sorry, but your Spanish and your English is poor. Don't don't even worry about it. Welcome. Thank you so much for the bits, dude. It is it is very kind of you to join the stream.
This, the passive one isn't attacking. Which is fine. Let's see. Good night, Ash. We'll take it easy. Here's a question. This guy gives everybody one one HP, right? If this guy was reduced to to one HP, and then we killed this guy, what would be the result there? Death. Right on. Cool, cool, cool. That's thinking with portals. Oh, he was still... Attacking. I forgot that. Okay. Your mechs will automatically repair all damage after battle. Okay. Reduce to zero health. The pilot dies and the mech is disabled for the rest of that battle. Oh, the train's the train's going no matter what. The next free game? Uh today's game of the day was Loop Hero. I don't know what the next free one is. You'll have to wait eight hours for that. Can you walk through? Yes, you can. All right. So we can take that guy out. Hmm. Hmm. What if we push this guy to here? I would kill him anyway. Hmm. Protecting buildings is number one, right? And protecting the train is also super important. I guess it has... Train has one HP, so it can't die. When do these come up? They come up at the end of the turn, right? Enemies emerge, right. So here's, here's what I'm thinking. Push this guy back to here. 
push this guy over to here. Uh, he does nothing. This guy kills him and himself. He'll be on this tile. And we take this one out with this. And the train should not take damage. Do I want to use my own self to block these tiles? If the Firefly kills the Scion, all three will die. Oh, yeah. Then that's perfect. So this guy goes first to here, pushes this guy back to here, minus one health. Next, you're going to have to move here. So you got 1 HP, 1 HP, 1 HP. You got it for free on Epic. You don't really like it much. Sorry, um, Zircom Nexus. What are we talking about? This game. Oh, thank you so much for letting me know that you didn't enjoy it. I'm going to get back to the game now because I'm having a great time with it. Push him. I can kill him. I'm going to take another hit. Oh no, I won't take another hit. You can undo movement. Well, no real need. If he's dead, the others die anyway. Uh, then we'll have to deal with emerging enemies, though. Is there a disadvantage to that? We'll have to deal with it either way. Okay. I can't believe it. They speak English, which is interesting. All right, let's move a little bit closer here. At least this guy didn't take a second hit. The train is going to be fine. I'm going to move here with him. You can't move. No, you're done. Okay. Oops. Do they emerge and get to move same turn? They do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oof. This is a problem. This is a big problem.
Is this guy hurting the train being here? Or is he just stopping it? Let's have a look. Hang on. Webbed. Cannot move, but they can still attack. He is hurting. Because if he's, if he's just holding it back, it's no problem. Oh, okay, I see the skull. No, the skull's coming from him, though. Or is it? Nope, the flashing. I get it. I get it. So it's damage as well. This is rough. I wish this building wasn't here. Uh... Right. So this guy has to get pushed. You're going first. No, I think this is, um, I think we're boned here. Where can you move? <laughs> Not far enough. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Artillery the flyer that would make the spider attack the beetle. That's fine. The train is still going to move. We can't take this one out because I can't... Because of this building here... I, I can't move here to do what I need to do. I can't attack it. Tank could move to where the punchy mech is. Possibly. But what does that get me? have a look where can you move you can move to here that would kill you but this thing's still alive and if we artillery first it's no good anyway even if we even if we punch this one we're punching it into the train which would kill it anyway Like, I'm less concerned about the buildings, more concerned about the train just to get the bonus. I don't think we're going to get it. 
I would say it would be impossible. This reset turn here, go back in time to the start of the current turn, available after taking at least one ac action. You can only do this once per battle. Okay, so we can we can try some stuff. Can the spider damage the beetle enough? Um, I assume you mean scorpion, yes. One damage. He is webbing it. Ah, it doesn't matter. It's still stuck in, in place. Yeah, 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 I don't have any up. This is like literally the first run. So I I, I expect we're going to be here for a while just leveling some stuff up for a bit. That's okay. Um, I don't mind the first idea though. Artillerying this one. We'll move him. Punching's a bad idea. Ah, uh, shit. Punch is the only move there. I mean, the only winning move is not to play. <laughs> uh, it was it was bad placement on my part to begin the to begin the the fight. I think either either that or this is just an unlucky placement of a building. How much health do buildings have? Just the one? Your power grid is reduced when grid structures are damaged. So here's a question. There's two buildings there. There's one, two, three, six, nine total buildings. Is each one of each building there, is it worth like a, that has two HP. Got it. Uh, shoot over the train from the back. Only with this guy. This is the artillery guy right here. This guy is a direct, it's a cannon, it's not a... Each lightning bolt is one power. Oh, okay, so we do take power grid power if we lose one building. Sorry, people on the train, you might want to evacuate. Let's do, let's do, let's do that. So here's another point. Train moves last, but it's going to be destroyed first shot. Which means this one is now a significant threat as well. Fuck. What if we get rid of the train... ...ourselves? The archive train is hit, but not destroyed yet. Okay. Now you've got three HP. I, there's no, there's no solution here.
I'm assuming it driving into a barrier will be instant killed no matter how much health it's got. Train won't move after it's hit once. Does that mean it could take a regular hit from an enemy and not die? Or was that just a special hit because it was my turn? Defend the damage train. Oh, it's been reduced. <laughs> <laughs> Um, if that's the case, then... Burning forest. The forest is on... F on this tile took damage, turning it into fire. If a unit stands on fire, it will ignite and take damage every turn. Look at the train. It's already derailed. It's fucked. If you punch the flyer into the scorpion, you avoid the train damage. And then the tank could go where the flyer was. Flyer was here. Scorpion was here. Punch this into that. But that doesn't kill this thing. It does stop the train damage though, right? And the reason this took damage, it took damage from a punch and it took damage from the, the train. Yeah. No, I don't I don't think there's a solution here. It's okay, we'll we'll repeat that. It's like the best I can do, I think. The alternative is They still take a they still take their move regardless. If we artillery here this gets pushed. It gets pushed, but it's not it's not webbed anymore, or it still is. How does that work? This also gets pushed into the building. We lose a little bit of the the zappy zaps. You take one damage. tanking the power grid to get a bonus. Right. This guy still has three health, though. Like, that's too much. If I could move him here. Or... We artillery this. It pushes him over to here. The train still takes damage. But it might be able to move out of the way. Ah, fuck it. Let's try. Oh, hold up. I can't do that, can I? No. 
I have to be here. Ninety six casualties. Fuck. Uh, next, we do the punching thing. Who did I punch before? It was... This one, right? I think Train still dies no matter what. Yeah. Because this guy's not attacking. He was just standing there. He was going to take the hit from the train. He needs to be standing here if he's going to attack anything. He's attacking towards where your artillery was. Oh, he's shooting backwards. That doesn't help us. If you shoot the scorpion, it should take two plus one from fire. Does a punch not count? I, I can't. Yeah, okay, okay. We put him here. Fire damage comes first. Okay. Partially damaged train and destroyed building. Wow. <laughs> That's brutal. All right. So what does this earn me? Corporate, corporate reputation. Reputation points to purchase supplies once an island is secure. Okay. Okay. Fuck, man. That's tough. I wonder if there's a first run. Defend the satellite launches. Defend the artillery support, protect the coal plant. Let's see what this one is. A bomber will periodically target areas of the map. Oh, good. A special effect that will happen every turn. Mouse over the environment icon to get more information. We don't know yet. We have to place... All right, well, getting rid of you is of the utmost importance. However, you're probably going to move as well, aren't you, you jerk? I can put mechs in the water? Okay. Probably safe to say this guy is going to be uh, attacking here. Punchy, punchy, shooty, shooty, and artillery guy. Pod incoming. Protect the time pod. This pod contains equipment from the future. You can collect it with your mech or just defend it until the end of battle. Ah, fuck. Already difficult. Okay, well.
Put you here. So you can't you can't pass through enemies. Understood. I don't want to bomb another building. It didn't feel too good. And now if this wasn't here, I think I'd have a better a better chance. Bombs will be dropped here. Instantly killing any unit. Fuck. Environment happens first. Like, I really want to get the time capsule. I guess that's important, but I can't get there. Destroyed if damaged or trampled by the enemy. So all it takes is for them to move on it. Can't shoot from water unless they're flying. Got it. Hey, Petra. How you doing? Well, pushing him back is important. Uh, Maker. Thank you. Can I say, say a word of Spanish? I don't speak Spanish, my dude. Art Artillery the green guy? To put the flyer under the bomb. Oh, yeah, that's not a bad idea. Not a bad idea at all. And that's him essentially taken care of. And it's one step closer to killing him. I could actually punch him as well. That still leaves this guy. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna have to destroy this, move the artillery guy out. Live or die, make your choice. Yeah, let's get rid of the pod. Sorry, future tech. I see what they mean, like, about the, the more... Oh, this is one that we have a chance to block units as well. It says to block three times for an extra bonus star. Protect the coal plant. For bonus power. That's worth doing. Doing it my way, way will result in both. Sorry, run that by me again. So what I'm thinking, we move here with him and then artillery this. It moves him over here. This is gone, right? He's now attacking this guy. Um... And then we have to just punch him or shoot him, whatever. What we could do is instead of instead of getting an instant kill on him, shoot him and punch him to block this.
Let's try. Womp womp. Lost the pod. Time pods are destroyed by taking damage. Yes, I know. <laughs> I figured that was going to happen. Move him back. Shoot. And we could leave him active, or alternatively, punch as well. Ah, uh, hang on. Then we take damage. I'll take a hit. Why did I do two damage? I thought the punch was one damage. Okay, cool. Good to know. Let's stomp that Vec back to where it came from. Fucking hell. You have to get stomp, stomped, stomped at it. Which means you have to... Artillery push you into the fire. And then all we gotta do is get the fuck out of there. Like, these guys are dead. Both of them. Environmental first. Right, that's what I'm saying. We win. They must not they must not know what we know. Shove the scorpion into the bombing zone too. Okay. Yeah. Should I move first? Yeah. Oh, it's cool. You can still do both. I like that. I'd love to push him back under here, but that's fine. Well, my dog's in the room. Why does this tire look different? Oh, that's where the pot... Oh, okay, got it, got it, got it. Okay, no, no sweat. We do want a block for the challenge, yes.
I could block with ourself too. Possibly. It's fine. If it's if it's too late, it's too late. It's no big. Okay. Uh yeah. in one turn so it is it is you don't have to take everyone out right i guess that's one possible solution but you just have to survive uh that ain't gonna work If I punch it for two damage, does it still push it? Does it push the whatever's remaining, the, the bloody mess on my fist? Does it still push that, I wonder? You can shoot from where you start. Uh, you need to be, it's, it's, with these, with this loadout, this, these set of units that we have, um, they can only shoot in cardinal directions. You have to be in, in their line. That might be different later on. meant the artillery I don't want to hit it I want to push it so that's why I was asking because if if we do one damage to this and then this guy comes up and punches it I want to know if whatever's left still takes still does damage to the building I'm getting a lot of backseating and a lot of guessing, folks. Let's, let's, if you know, feel free to like throw hints, but please don't be aggressive about it. Let's try. Nope, that still did damage. All right, well, there you go. At least we protected the coal plant. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> Uh, 
It's tough. It's tough. Oh, we got one mech reactor. Piloted mech reactor increased by one. Understood. Power available. Oh, hold on a second. Improve weapons or power additional weapons. Install reactor course. Shit, we can switch weapons and stuff. It's a lot deeper than I thought. Test mech in a virtual simulator. How fucking cool is that? Oh, we can uncheck as well? Dash. Charge any distance. Oh, wow. That's awesome. Requires two power. We would have to install an upgrade. So this is max reactor and I currently have one available, right? Plus two health. Plus one move. You can always uncheck until you do a mission. Okay, and then once you do that, it's locked in. All right. Ralph Carlson, you absolute legend. Two health would be good. We could tank a few hits, block a few spawns. I do also like the idea of an additional move. Experienced. Gain plus two bonus XP per kill. Is this like randomized or this is always the same starting loadout? Do you think the 1800 people are holding a candlelight vig vigil as we speak for the 200 or so people that weren't able to join us? You can move power around, but you cannot uninstall power cores to move to another mech. Got it. And that's why when you get taken out, your mech becomes unusable, but the pilot dies. The mech continues on. Then the mech is the, the sort of ongoing thing going on. That's cool, man. I'll, okay, okay. It's it's yeah. Like I said, a lot deeper than I than I thought. Do not kill the volatile vec. Protect the power generator. Sounds fun. We got ice, which I assume is like a one turn environmental. Um, hazard, you can stand on it for one turn. Drive it away, but whatever you do, don't kill it. That's him right there. And why do we not kill it? Explosive decay. Explodes on death, dealing one damage to an adjacent tile. Okay. Okay. Well, You're making it real hard for me, son. <laughs> Fuck. I wasn't expecting that. Wow. Wow. Motherfucker. Okay. Well... Rip the challenge. Either we take a hit 
We're going to have to take a hit. I don't have a choice. Or... So what's the range on this guy? Do we know? It's a scorpion, so one. Still in the fight. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> ah, shit. If he stays on this, he's not going to last long, huh? Turns into water when destroyed. Must be hit twice. Hit twice. Okay. Okay. Ralph? Do your, do your punchy thing. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so he's still gonna attack me. Wowza. Nope. Nope. One range on it. Good. Twice. Jesus Christ. Fuck me. <laughs> I'm gonna have to destroy another building here, aren't I? Um, double webbed, yeah. It'd be great to get an artillery here. Push them all away. I don't think we have that. Like, I'd have to be here and then I'd kill myself doing it. It's a lot about pushing and moving stuff. Slightly different than... Um, Fights in tight spaces. And I guess that, that might be just this particular mech loadout. But fights in tight spaces let you... Um, it's it, it was... There was some pushing moves and stuff, but it was a lot of like hand-to-hand -hand combat. Like just, just damage dealing, essentially. Um, What's he doing? Nothing. Not attacking. 
You're dead, but you'll still hurt him if I punch from here. Can I move here? Yes, I can. But I only get I only get to do one. However, you can still attack. Two damage to you takes you out. How far can you move? Not far enough. He can take a hit. No, he can do that. Okay, okay, okay. Ralph punches. Destroys him. Hurts him for one, I guess. You attack forward, pushing him away. And you are going to get artillery. In fact, whoa, hang on a second. That pushes him out of the way. People in people in this building are, are like, wait. You're going to let this thing live because you were asked to? What about us? And they're like, yeah, that's that's what we were told to do. Oh, can I undo that? I could have actually shot him and done damage first. We only get we only get one of these, but yes. Excellent pilot, Carlson. Isn't he, though? Like, exemplary. And now there's no reason to push this guy, but whatevs. Vec threat removed. Sixty-four casualties. You're just, you're fucked. I dislike you very much. Can't even artillery my own guy because uh, this will kill him. That's a big oof. So we're going to have to defend this building here. He's going to take a hit. He's going to be fine. Unless I even stand in the fire for one turn and bump. Nope, he's dead anyway. Web the webbing is rough. Webbing is really, really harsh. Okay. Wait a minute. Could shoot him into the fire that unwebs him. 
How far can you move? Ralph? No, well, nowhere. But three moves, right? One, two, three. No, no good. Grid defense, 15%. Oh, oh, okay. I didn't even, okay. Didn't, didn't even realize that was a thing. Oh no, no, oh fuck. <laughs> oh Jesus. I know we're surrounded. No, we can't. <clears throat> so this guy's on fire. So fire is a status, right? Which means... Start of every turn, one damage. Okay. <clears throat> Victory in one turn. If we fucking survive. Yeah, he has to he has to kill something. Is there an advantage to punching this guy in front of this building? Like it's still it's still one power loss, right? Punch this guy and then move out and then punch him. We can't punch him into water. I don't think that I don't think that kills him. Fucking do it. Whatever. Punch. Uh. Am I moving through fire there? That's fine. Okay, good. That kills you. Oh, wow. This game is tough, dude. I wonder if there's an upgrade where we can turn our artillery into being able to attack directly in front. That'd be really helpful. Is he flying? Yes.
You've moved already, haven't you, Ralph? You have. Cannot use their weapons when standing in water. You can use the undo move. Got it. Grid's approaching zero. We won! We survived! Yay! What about Mary in accounting though? She didn't survive. Why you always gotta be a downer, Steve? Corporation reputation. You can spend reputation on supplies at the end of the island. <laughs> I somehow have a feeling we're not gonna make it that far. All right, give me a sec. I need to run and grab another drink. Um, let's run a quick commercial break. Two minutes worth of ads. Hey, hang on one sec, folks.
Look at look at this. We need to get a bigger one. Oh, there's not. Her butt is. She's so big right now. She loves that little tree, the little tree stump, the little plastic tree stump. But her butt is so big that she's sticking out on one side. It's fucking hilarious. Like I got it. I got it from PetSmart. Yeah. I got it from PetSmart, and that's like the small. And then they have the large one, which is the size for Huxley. They don't have a medium one. And I, it's it, it's not for reptiles. It's not for snakes. It's for guinea pigs. Oh, really? Yeah, it's for guinea pigs and hedgehogs. And they're completely sold out of the big ones. They didn't have medium ones. And I bought the last two small ones for the boys. So they have no more. So I'm going to have to like go on a fucking scavenger hunt to find a medium-sized tree trunk for my daughter's fat ass right there. Look at that. Look at that little freckle right there. That little freckle, that boop. That's your kid, that's not mine. She's a, she's good. She's a good kid. All right. Getting getting back to fix fix my angles here. I got I got myself a, a Coca-Cola. Got some peppermint How'd I find Death Stranding? It was good. It was good. Very weird. Very good. Um, it's probably not something I'll bring back to to stream, but um, no, I enjoyed it a lot. I'll, I'll definitely play it off stream, for sure. I, my friend of mine, doing very well. Defend the artillery support. Let's see how helpful this support is, huh? Drop successful. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Can I actually move this fucker? I can. One tile at a time. Okay. And is it the same? No pushing. Okay, that's fine. Wowza. Protect the coal plant. All right. Okay, if we move him to here. We then artillery that's this spot. No, that doesn't work. <clears throat> it does push him out of the way, though. And then I can run through, maybe. Uh, maybe not.
Can I... Here's a question. I could move him back to here. And then he could just shoot from the way back, right? I think that might be smarter. Because he's only got two health. We need to defend it for a bonus. The coal plant also needs defending. Push you here, artillery. This one. Yeah. After I tank a hit here. You're going to move forward. Because I don't want you to move, son. Yeah, that will kill him. Oh, hold up. Uh, I made a min made a mistake there, I think. Um, if I punch you, you take two damage, plus one. And you take one. Yeah, it's not not the worst thing in the world. I actually want to destroy this, not fucking... <clears throat> oh, what if I do artillery you, though? Eh. Still one. Yeah, placement is super important, huh? And it's it's nice that they show you Oh whoa whoa, hang on. It's nice that they It's nice that they show you what is going where, but at the same time Um Oh, wow. Uh, This seems like a really bad idea.
This is messed up. Um, help. <clears throat> Here's a question. So there's three emerging enemies next turn, right? If I block one with one of my guys, is that two emerging enemies and then one later or just two? Got it, thank you. Hey Raka. You're new here, but can you are you allowed to provide any tips? I'm trying to learn the game and I'm also trying to enjoy the game. Um 
Just keep that in mind whenever talking about it. With most roguelikes where there's no story involved, um, I don't mind at all. Usually. A bit of self-awareness and do not be aggressive. Well, he's done. Fucking hell. Fuck. One of them dies no matter what here. So he can punch this guy. That'll kill him. I was going to artillery this guy. But I can't art artillery for him from here. I can't artillery him from here. It's a lot of, um, the way you, it's a different way your brain has to work, right? Like you've got to, you got to have a lot of, uh, forward planning. So when somebody said chess earlier, it is kind of like that. Um, oh shit, this is run over if, even if we do survive. <laughs> Rift Wizard? Pathless, that's uh Rift Wizard. Wait, is it Rift Wizard? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's in my list. I don't know if Ms. Queeb chose it or not, but um It might be one of the ones we check out. It, it, I, I remember that being in the, the big list I gave her. Yeah, we're going to lose our our cannon here. I can't I can't fix that. 
Now I have to save. Fuck. Oh, there's different different play styles based on loadouts? Okay, cool. That's so I'm sure we'll find one. I gotta, gotta do it. I don't have a choice. We could have actually kept that there. What if we punch this instead? He still takes a damage. Okay, now we, we can save our mechs here, I think. One punch, move him over here. He's no longer webbed, he can move back. And then use this guy over from here, Artillery the Mountain, move him out of the way. Nope, I moved the second artillery. I didn't actually use it at all. Region destroyed. Aha, okay. 
destroy the Hornet leader, protect the corporate tower. And obviously keep these protected. If these if these fall, fall we're still done, right? Okay. Two damage. Fuck. Uh, I didn't see he was t attacking. That's a f that's fine. That's fine.
Yeah, oh snap, I don't I don't it's it's all good, brother. I don't I don't need to know that I could have done better or I made a mistake. I'm gonna learn that myself. That's a problem. It would be a safe bet to assume that I could move here given that I can move here after it's destroyed, right? Not even necessary. Okay. Can't defend myself. Which means we have to push. We lose this one.
How many hits can the tower take? It doesn't matter. It's it's yeah. If this dies, if this dies, or if this dies, we're done. Um any of them. Only two buildings are under attack. Right. I only have one. It, it, we cannot lose a building, period. So I can push this, right, away. I can push him away, no sweat. This doesn't matter. I can't stop this from happening. Push the scorpion in front of the tank. What? Get the tank to get the scorpion with its movement. Tank to get the scorpion with its movement. I'm sorry. You, you're going to have to explain that one. That doesn't make any sense. If the push breaks the webs, you can do it. Everybody's okay. Again, this is what I this is what I was saying. If you guys can't come to an agreement, and it, it's too confusing, I don't mind some hints, and I didn't ask for a solution. But go on, since we're here already. Artillery next to the punch mech. Then punch the flyer. Artillery round 5D. Does that break the web? I thought the web stayed because this guy's still... He's staying in the same spot, technically. But that, I still don't see a win here because we need something to move this. Even if it breaks the web, what, what difference does it make? Do I go after this or do I go after this? We lose this, we die. We lose this, we die. I understand that if the web breaks we can punch this guy is out of commission this guy can't do shit so we only have two two effective units right now it's 
So you're saying artillery here. And then hopefully, fingers crossed, punch this guy out of the way. He has three moves or four? If he's got three, I don't think we can do it either. Three. Because there's a building right here. Punch kills him. That's a fact. Alright. Let's give it a shot. Still webbed. This is what I was saying. If you know for a fact, help. If you don't, don't guess. No, he has to move out of this tile for that to happen. Everything's spread out. It's a bit rough. Oh, don't get me wrong. I, I know that. That's why I said we can't win this <laughs> earlier. And I don't even know the game that much. <laughs> yeah, if he was one square over, it would be it would be one. That's okay. That's okay. We have to we have to lose a few to, to, to get it anyway. I know this isn't one of those games where you just expect to win. It just would have been nice. But uh but that's okay. Yeah. If he was if he was one tile over no, even if he was one tile over it wouldn't have mattered. Or if this wasn't there, we would be fine, maybe. No. No, there's no win here. Pray for a 15% chance. <laughs> I assume we only get any objectives if we succeed the round, right? Like, we still have to win the game. So we won't even get one star here for, for beating the leader. So Petro, that's that's the time to speak up. Actually, Hakomis, um, it doesn't work that way. The web won't break if he stays in the same spot. What's the alternative? We push this. No. No, we can't win. Artillery fire to B4. I like this grid system, by the way. It's kind of cool. It can. That doesn't help us either, though. Like, it would move this out of the way, which is great which frees up this guy to do one of two things. Punch this guy out of the way, which he won't be able to reach this side anyway. So we'd be punching him. Um, we have to, well, it, he's destroyed if we punch him. And then there's this. We do have a 15% chance to succeed, maybe. I 
All right, let's give it a shot. Actually, this would be good test as well. We know he has a three move radius. I just want to see if one, two, three, if that is considered three or four. Like if diagonals count, you know what I mean? We'll see. Uh, all right. Pushing only. Okay. You said B4, right? Yeah. No. It is literally three squares movement. achievement for that island secure spend reputation fuck yeah let's do that donate weapons and pilots for reputation donate So here's a question. What do I get to keep long term? Because it's asking me to repair supplies here. And that's concerning because um, that means we're stuck with this for the rest of the game. <laughs> this, this run, essentially, right? Self-destruct. Reputation doesn't carry over, so there's not, no point in not spending it all. Do these things stay? Grab a unit and toss it behind you. What the fuck? <laughs> that actually sounds really dope. I like it. Raining death, ranged class weapon, a dangerous projectile that damages everything it passes over. Self damage, one. Oh, including yourself. Extra power cores tend to be useful, but we don't have that available right now. Or is this... That is one, okay. Weapons and inventory, anything you buy and power cores, power grid status. Okay, so on, let's say I purchased a reactor core right now on a mech, right? Obviously, we lose that mech or whatever. But we get a whole new reload on the next run we do with this group. Let's say we upgraded this one again. It would have additional power. Is that is that how it works? Non-damaging projectile that pushes tiles around the target. Brand new start over. Oh, okay. So there's zero meta progression. In that case, I should buy a grid power. Bit of a bummer. You now have a reactor core. Open the mech upgrade screen to install it. Oh, 
Oh, I get it. I get it. So this is kind of like power waiting to be used. And then if I have these filled out, that means I'm taking advantage of them. So we have one in Taurus Cannon right now, which is why we have one. Um, we had a spare here. We put it in health. There's a mech team to be unlocked. Right, right, right. But that's like finding ships in FTL or whatever, right? Okay. Ah, it also costs wrong class. Oh, prime class weapon. Ah, got it. And that's a freebie. We don't have to pay for that one. If a mech dies, it comes back next mission, so you won't lose reactor cores mid-run. Okay. Okay. Now, we could give him an extra one move, which would be freaking dope, but I think health for this guy is probably more important. Reactor core checks out. I know. I bought it. So we've got zero rep, zero power cores. By completing one island, you've unlocked the RST Corporation. In future games, you will be able to visit unlocked islands in any order. Unlocked islands. So it's kind of expanding the game as we go as well. Much like, well, every fucking roguelike on the planet. Uh, my invite, my advisors in insist we're losing the fight. They also insist I trust you, and since. Those cowards rarely insist I do anything. I'm giving you a chance to prove yourselves. Yeah. Okay. I see the problem now. So now we've got to start going after these zones more and more because... Um... Fuck, it's tough, dude. It's tough. Cataclysm. That sounds fun. Take less than three grid damage. Well, I can't... <laughs> I gotta take less than three. Protect the coal plant. Let's do it. Mark tiles become chasms at the start of the enemy turn. Killing any ground unit present. Okay. Pilot's bonuses are gone. Got it. But yeah, like if we start a brand new game... Everything's back to back to scratch. Okay, well, I got just got to protect the buildings. No big. Should be easy enough. Cap up. If damaged turns into smoke, units in smoke cannot attack or repair. Oh, chasm is all like all of these. Shit. Wait, is it gonna like progress? Oh shit, I hope not, because, um, yeah, well, let's see what happens. Oh boy. Hmm. 
Oh, he's a charger. Explosive decay. The blast cyan will cause all Vec to explode on death. Dealing damage. All, all Vec? It's like a passive... Okay, so he's going to charge here and knock me back. We just need to get out of the way. But that also means if I do get out of the way, he's probably going to charge, what, right to the end? Same one. All of the Vec will explode. Ah, no, no, no. That's the guy. And is it a 3x3 three three or just Cardinals? Just Cardinals, okay. Five health. The monster. Oh boy. The charging thing was killed because it was still here, which is fine. What was the reason the other thing blew up? I need to I need to read up on that one again, but oh, we got a jumper here.
Ah, shit. The charger did one damage to adjacent enemies on death. Oh, okay, so even though it sort of collapsed into the ground, it still technically died, therefore did an explosion. Okay, understood. I just have to get out of the way here. I don't need to kill them, right? Seems like they're going to do a good enough job with that on, the, on their own. Oh, you get XP from shooting? Thank you for that tip. That's important. Yeah, okay. And thank goodness this building didn't collapse. That was... That's nice of them. High threat detected. Defend the solar farms. Kill at least seven enemies. Woof. Uh, but we can earn two, two zappy zaps back. Can I spend reputation anytime, or is it only end of uh, end of run situation? It's fun to just shoot. Ah, uh, see, that's the thing. If it's not going to earn me anything, zero point. Environment kills spread XP to everyone. Good to know. Oh, okay, so it's not just an individual kill. Kills do get you XP. Okay. Let's do it. Oh, we got water. That's good. It's a shame they're going to move because they're in a really good spot right now. All right. That we want to get. Yeah, big shame they moved. God damn it.
We got another charger. Hmm. They do they do charge like the whole way, right? They they can't stop or they do stop. I'm not sure how that works yet. That's bad. They stop when they hit something. I was afraid you were going to say that. Two damage, huh? Woof. That's fine. We got this. You're telling me. Uh-oh. Dude's coming up, man. They're very clever. <clears throat> so we've had two kills. Yeah. Punch you into you. Ah, oh, man. Yeah, it's 
gonna have to be that, isn't it? Oh, explosion damage. I didn't expect him. It was the explosion that did it. Okay. Let's undo that. <laughs> oh, that makes it real tough. Um... Yeah, that's even worse. Fuck. I mean, it did say this was a, a challenging one, right? Defense grid, 21%. What's the highest this can go? Base defense, overpower bonus. Pilot bonus. The best we can do is we're going to lose another one. Fuck. It's made this whole exercise pointless. Is it the same? Did we work out if it was the same composer from FTL? Ben Prunty. Prunty or Prunty? Hmm. Okay. No! Thank God for asking. I'm not going to get my seven kills, that's for sure. do that either motherfucker <laughs> oh 
I could have I could have yeeted them the other way. I forgot I had the extra move. That's funny. Two hundred and forty one. Because he does. Because uh, he does two damage. What a, well, that's a that was a wash. Shit. Can I take? Uh, what have we got? Fuck. One, two. No. Uh, wait. I get him out of the way. Yeah, I can do this. We'll get our kills. Losing two was bad, but kind of worth it. We won. May the 270 souls lost. Rest in peace. Oh, open door. Pod contents. Brute class weapon. Use a grapple to pull mech... Towards objects or units to the mech. A reactor core. So when it says shield ally down the bottom, is that like an, an upgrade to this particular move? pretty good it is if used on an ally or unit it gives them a shield that sounds pretty dope I still think we need to give move to someone now look it might it might look like I'm favorite, favoriting this mech um, and Ralph. Um, and you'd be right, because I am. Alright, we need more. Another power. New Terra. No water. I like the water. Give me more water. Don't let the volatile Vec die. Hey, Jeff. How you doing? That's you. So I got to keep pushing that one. The, the move that we had an option to buy, the one where it was like push enemies without like zero damage push. Yeah, that sounds kind of good. There you go, do something fucking stupid like that. You motherfucker. Got 
Got a jumper. Yeah, what's to say we could push our two units out of the way instead of the enemy? That might be a smart move. Last day of the week. Right on, man. Right on. I gotta remember the, t the whole two damage situation. So on a double building, that'll take out literally two... Two power bars. What's up, Sulcher? How you doing, man? Ah, I can also pull you out of that. That's another option. Maybe a waste of a turn here, though. No, we do want to use it on... on us... rather than the enemy, because if we do it on the enemy, this guy moves in front of that. That would be bad. And now we're creating smoke. Cannot attack or repair. I haven't learnt the repair yet, have I? I don't think I have. If I hit you for two, and then you stand here, it's a bad idea. Down to one health. Far too easy to kill at that point. I say we stand by. Or I could yeet him. Uh, no, we don't want to do that either. Let me have a look. Grab a unit and toss it behind you. Still does the damage. No, we wait right here. Oh, it's he's not jumping, he's lobbing stuff. Okay. Ah shit. Ah shit. That's pretty bad. This guy's got to go. You're loving shit too? Shh, fucking hell. Yeah, if you don't take out units, there's too many on the field and then you just, you're boned. Not much you can do. 
This can't happen. This is real bad. This is currently game over if we let this happen. Webbed. Fuck. <laughs> you have two health and I can't make it to you. I can shoot you from here though. That's real bad news for this guy. I'll take a hit though, I'll take that. Victory in three turns? There is no way. Oh, that's another problem. I need to shoot here. Which means that damage is still happening. Three turns, yeah, right. They are just trying my fucking patience here. Oh my Christ.
use grapple to pull myself out of this. Pretty good idea. I have to grab onto something though, right? Like I guess a building or a mountain. I can't just hit the ground. Right. That charge is still going to take that out. I can't shoot from here. <laughs> Oh my god. <clears throat> Not close enough. Range, range is probably the most important thing that I've discovered so far. What order does everyone go in? So the big guy's going to go first. Then this guy. Then this guy, which is kind of irrelevant right now. And then this one. So he's going to charge this building, which will destroy it. Um, I could push him over, which is what I was thinking. What I would do is push him over here. I got to I gotta protect this building at the very least because we need to get that energy back. Where can I move to here? And if I push him here, I'm assuming when this guy attacks, it does relocate. Yeah, so it, this building would die regardless. We can't stop that unless... Well, hold on. I can actually kill this guy outright. I can push this guy out of the way. Okay. And I can grapple out of here. So let me do that first. I'm going to push this one. Actually, hang on one sec. Because he could shoot that as well. I could push this guy onto here. No, 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 no. He has to push that. If he grapples out... Yeah, no good. He can take the hit. It's fine. Grappling out will still be safer, but there's no shooting if that's the case. Artillery from E6 to Vec on C6. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. Definitely can't move. No, it's done. Okay. <clears throat> Still. Saved. Saved it so far. Fuck. That's not good. That puts him so far out of range. Oh my god. Okay. 
No, we're good. We're good. We're not good. Three damage? Oh, fuck you. You gotta go here. It's fucking horse shit. I could destroy that. That does nothing. What I could do... What are you gonna do? One damage? I could yeet this guy. And we shoot that one. We're still gonna take a hit, but it's not dead. It's tough, dude. This is real tough. So we can either... No, we want to shoot. Still take a hit. Fuck. <laughs> it's like right on the razor's edge the whole game. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Like, I want to earn points and shit, right? But can't. Can't do it. I need, I need to earn the power back. It's the most important thing. Energy shields. This is a shield. <laughs> Thank you. It will block damage and any negative effects. Fire, freezing, acid, etc. Only direct damage will remove the shield. Non-damaging negative, negative effects will have no effect. A little bit of water, okay. Protect the emergency batteries, which I guess are... These? Now show me what those mechs of yours can do. Yeah, I'm trying. Trust me, I'm trying. Seismic activity is not coming from the edges this time. So it says you can't attack when in water, right? Most non-flying enemies die. However, I think this is still an attack, yes? Yeah. I'm sure it is. So this is my big concern here. They're going straight for the batteries. Could blast them, push them away. The only place I can do that from is here. 
or here. Either way, that still takes damage. Uh, what happens if I yeet this guy? You punch. Oh, even better. Or order, please. Good game, Miss Queeb. You picked a good one. Um, now what was I thinking? Oh yes. Order, two damage. If I can push this guy over one, he attacks him. He dies. We save it. And then I'm going to use this guy. Uh, if oh no, he's already, Ralph. Ralph has already moved. Okay. Wait, Ralph has not yet moved. I'm going to stop a shot. I'm going to move here actually. Um. Tell me action available. I know there's an action available. Small problem there. Okay. This is fine. This is very fucking far from fine. Um, same again, just push back. That's all I can do. You are going to block another. So they take... Okay, I get it. If you just camp a spot, you take ongoing damage, then we won't do that. Not with you. With you, we can take another hit. Three victory. Three turns, huh? These can take at least one hit, which is nice. But I would prefer they didn't. not a bad idea either let's start let's start tapping away
fucking terrifying. Are you kidding? Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't hang around there. What does this mean? Uh. Okay. Okay. Vex spawning. If damage turns to smoke. Got it. Okay. Yeah, that's gonna hurt. That's gonna kill him if he stays. You jumping out of the way wouldn't be the worst thing. And you are gonna kill this guy, depending on what. Ah, uh, no, you won't. We're just gonna keep pushing away here, though. I think that's the smart move. The shield will protect us. Can they fly over the void? Ground units pushed in. No. We can do another damage, but no, that's not the that's not the play here. if we yank him out of there I can't yank him from there shit Was he? He was here. Oh, I can't do that either. No. I just have to stop one damage, which means... Oh, this is gonna hurt, man. So we've got a couple of choices. We punch this guy, he gets destroyed. That means he's going to take two damage, one from him and one from the ground spawn. Alternatively, we get rid of this guy straight up. If we get webbed again though, I don't think we can save him. Um, to anyone that's played this, does the edge of the map cause damage, or is it objects only? Like, is the edge of the map a wall? No damage? We could just get rid of this guy. He can shoot him and kill him. Or I could yeet as well. If I yeet...
We're safe. We don't take the damage. I can't move still, but that's fine. Smoke cancels attacks? Yes, it does. Yep. Yep. Artillery is our only bet here. I can't protect. Shit. These are going to take a hit. Yeah, it's fine except for this one right here. So I've got to I got to stop this attack because this guy is going to leap over, and he should. Yeah, he's so this is number two. He'll take the shields away, and then he'll leap, which means that we lose it. So I got to stop him. I can't I can't stop him unfortunately. <clears throat> it's the following turn that I'm actually worried about, which. Actually, I think I think we're safe after this one. As long as I take him out, it should be good. Yeah, that's... We could probably get an extra kill here. I just learned something really valuable. We, um, they, uh, the buildings, uh, sorry, when the ground collapses, flying units, well, I mean, they're flying, which is fine. You saw what happened. Plus two mech HP. Holy shit. All right, we're up to boss now. So let's, before we do that, let's, um, 7 HP we, would, we don't need. Let's see if we can use this on something else. Ally immune gives him a shield, huh? Oh! Wait. Got it. It means I, it means I can yeet my buddies and they don't take damage. That's pretty cool. Or do we want seven HP? He's a tank after all. Let's go. Destroy the scorpion leader. Protect the corporate tower. Remove the move and add a dash. Wait, 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 wait. Mm. 
charge any distance. Can I still, if I attack something next to me, do I still get the push? It looks like I still get a push, but I don't know if that works. No, you need both. You need both. Uh, upgrades only, I guess. Nah, can't do it. Oh, you mean that? Hmm. Travel any distance. Good idea. Good idea. Why were they different colors? Why are some green and some yellow? Is one of them from my pilot? Alright. <clears throat> Scorpion leader. Two damage. Oh, Jesus. I'm going to go get some of that tiramisu. One sec. Oh my god, that's good. Okay. Um Fucking real. Uh, okay. 
Well. If I move this guy, he doesn't... Like, if I moved him from here to here, he doesn't automatically wrap again, right? Pretty sure he doesn't. hate it when the taste of alcohol is too strong. I, I, that's one time I don't mind the taste of alcohol is actually in tiramisu. I think it's quite nice actually. Who's going first and how much damage? You have three health, of course you do. That's a fucking brutal unit, man. Oof. And I gotta kill it? Oh my god. Gonna move him out of the way too. However, better. Oh no. <laughs> Damn, why did you have to be there? How much health do you have? You're going to charge. Same again. Now you're going to explode too. Ah, uh, shit. When does the explosion happen? After the push or before? really good after death no 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 that I understand but how does it resolve because dead bodies still get pushed
It's from the supermarket. It was like pretty expensive. Well, I mean, it probably a, a, a cake, probably twice that size. Oh, look at that. It's a void cake. Um, I took half and uh, about six bucks. health do you have? Four. And shit explodes when it dies. Yeah, that's what I'm that's what I'm concerned about. you here punch you in that way nah it's a tough one This guy doesn't attack. That... Uh, that kind of sucks even more. This building's done. One of them. I move you... I can't move you here. I could yeet this guy, though, onto the other side of me. I'm still going to take the hit better than the alternative. Where else can I go? I can go here and yeet this guy away. Not bad, just to make sure that I'm still going to take the hit from him then. One damage. And then I can push him up here. Pushes him here. This building's fucked. Where can I move you to? No. What's the most important thing? Saving up as saving as much of these as possible. So in that case. gonna have to take a hit dude let's see let's see just exactly or I pull myself out 
with this guy. After the Vec moves, you think. I mean, that's what I'm hoping, but I don't want to risk it. I obviously got a reset turn, but I think we saved that. Oh shit, that's pulling the other dude towards me. Okay, that's not going to work. Alright. Nice. Okay, it is after. Very good. Next, you're going to get yeeted. You can't even attack me. It's pretty dope. And then finally, the pizza resistance. Like smoking... What did I say? Like smoking a wasp? Fuck you. Ah, uh, no. Ah, uh, no. There's no solution there. What happens when this guy dies? Nothing. I mean, he'll explode, but that's it. <clears throat> this is really fucking bad. I'm not worried about winning. I think we've got the win. I don't want to lose all this. That's that's a brutal hit. And I need to be able to move. Let's forget everything else on the map now. I wish that the smoke would go away. It's kind of fucking annoying. Um, is there a way to relocate this guy? I can't get close enough to pull it. This building's in the way. I can't charge at it. Um, because this guy is in the way. Even if it wasn't. One, two, three... I could charge at it and hit. Nah, it's not. It's got way too much health. Plus, that does nothing. That's we still lose this. And then we're gonna lose another one here. Uh, 
Uh, we're gonna lose that one as well. Fuck. Oh no, I can charge him. Him I can charge, or I could shoot him as well. Did I already move? Okay. Um, I could shoot him as well. So we save one damage. This is fucking dead anyway. What difference does it make? What are you doing? You're attacking me? Okay, whatever. How do we generate smoke? How is this made? If damage turns to smoke, units in smoke cannot attack or repair. On regular ground. Ugh. Um, hmm. Can't be done. Alright, so we push him out of the way with whatever. I should go after this. I can't kill that without destroying another building. I can't, I can't kill it. I gotta push it, but not kill it. It's, fuck, we're gonna lose. Oh my god. If I move you to here. Can I move you? One, two, three. Plus we can charge. Okay. I can't shoot from here. You mother... Oh. This is... This is... This is... This is... Mmm!
We can kill the Scion, yes. That will take out him, which will do one damage to a building. Mm, no, it won't. Yeah, it will. And we're going to take damage doing it, but that's fine. much health do we have here? Five. He didn't explode. So once he dies, he immediately loses the buff. Okay. I, th I thought that's what happened last time. Hello, Solomon. Welcome. Hope you're having a great day, dude. Yeah, we're going to lose two power nodes here. Not nothing much I can do. You've still got a shot. You, fuck you. I have to yeet it. Uh, if I yeet it, we lose another building. Oh my fucking god. Oh, we're done. We're done. If I yeet it, we can at least... I've, uh, that's my only option. Come on, Ralph. Save the fucking day. Fucking hell. So I could actually pull him, but then he would hurt me. Unless I pulled him into a cloud. Gotta protect that, right? I mean, we don't have to. Ah, it's still counted as power. Yes, we do. We gotta stop that. So this one and this one...
That's three damage. Fuck. I don't think I can win this. <laughs> we lose one here. We lose one here. We lose one here. We lose one here. God damn it. What tile is that? Ground. If damage turns into smoke, we still lose two. I'm, yeah, no, we can't win this. I can push. Either that guy away, or that guy away. Doesn't matter which. Not both. What happens here? One, two, three, dead. Four dead. I could yeet this guy. Put him here. Does nothing. It's monumentally hard. Yeeting would have been the only way. If I got another move, like if I could activate both moves, that would be pretty sick. I should have killed him earlier, but even then, like... DT Fishboat with the six month subscription, my dude, how you been? Feel like you should have prepared something? Yeah, I um oh, I wasn't gonna say anything, but I brought the cake already, so Cheers to you, bud. Oh 
Oh, I am going to be so hopped up on caffeine tonight. We still lose no matter what, right? Yeah. Not again. <laughs> Not again. Fuck off. <laughs> That's wild. That is... Yeah. Okay. Spend a rep. Passive effect. Mechs gain plus one move if they start their turn adjacent to each other. I gotta go with this again, don't I? Rocket artillery. Two damage. Pretty nice upgrade. Smoke bomb. Okay. I can give up some shit, can I? Uh, hang on. Artemis Artillery. Oh, this doesn't push in all directions. Yes? No? Mm, no, it doesn't, I think.
Okay, no weapons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Relax. Building's immune. Wow. That would be kind of good. Like, really fucking good. Okay. I can't believe I'm still going. After securing two complete corporate islands, the final mission is available to complete. Difficulty. This the difficulty of this battle scales to your current progress. Fighting it now will be much as much of a challenge as attempting it after securing additional islands. Well then why don't we do that? Securing more islands before the final mission will allow you to save more civilians and increase the score. I don't give a fuck about score. Oh, it's it. Just one fight. Survive the fight. Okay. What's this thing do? A blobber. Oh, that doesn't look good. Sticky blob that will explode. All right. All right. Well. One damage. A lobber. Three damage. Right. A mechs won't last long. No fucking kidding. Deploying remote power pylons. No, don't deploy their remote power. Leave them off. Like, get rid of them. We don't need them. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh my god. Um, so we got to blast that away, right? So that's artillery. No choice. Got to do that. Cool. I could get over here or even better yeah that's fine okay well whatever gotta take this dude out he's bad news man bad news bears no don't fucking end the turn oh that would have been another option as well Cat jams in the house. This is a pretty good song. I can't punch this dude. Yes, I can. It'll kill him. Squish. Oh god. <laughs> What's the skull mean? Deadly threat. The weapon or environment effect on this tile will kill any unit. Oh, is it? Is it a? Uh, is it one of these? 
Hello, Bink. Oh, fuck. Locked me in too. What a shitter. That means I'm going to be trapped on a little island. If I can't get out of here, and I can't get out of here. Unless I hit myself with artillery, which would be a waste of artillery. Ah, uh, yeah, we're done. Could punch that. Killing itself and damaging adjacents for one damage. Not enough. Not enough. Lava's not a threat unless you stopped in it. Meaning I can pass through it and just don't end the turn in it it's convenient Why are these green? Why are these lit up green? What's that about? Just ground. Ground happens to be green. Okay. Don't don't argue, McQueen. Does this guy at least explode when he dies? Nope. One damage here. Now what I could do... the side? No, of course not. So under attack at the moment. Two. Four. Five, six. <laughs> I need a fucking supercomputer brain just to work this out. this did more damage, that would be so much better. I still want to know what... What the skull means. It means the environment's going to kill me, right? Deadly threat. The weapon or environment effect on this tile will kill any unit.
Volcanic projectile. Got it. So it's molten rock falling from the sky. It lands on the tile. It turns into lava. We can step in the lava as long as we don't stay in the lava. I get it now. I get it. So we've got one, two, three, four. And obviously flying enemies are no good as well. That's fine. Punch this. It's the last thing to explode, which fucking sucks too. So we have no choice. We have to move from here. This is our only play. Or, or backing up. How much damage do we take in lava? Behaves like water but inflicts fire on surviving units. Got it. So one, one per... One per turn. But we also can't shoot from there. Fucking brutal, dude. Ah! Oh. I wish I could start the fight over. I'd maybe, well, it's hindsight, isn't it? Told him not to drop the pylons in. Without the pylons there, we would have won. I don't see a win here. If someone if someone has an an idea, even just surviving, let me know. I don't I don't see it. I was thinking, fuck, our artillery cannon our own shit. Push these two out. We lose one. But there's no way I can save three others. If I move this guy out of the way, let's say he's down here and we punch this unit. No sweat, right? We then artillery here. That only does one damage to this guy. One damage to this guy. And we've still got this guy here. I can't, well, again, we move this guy out of the way. 
take him out. I back up to here. I artillery here. We push this down. This guy up. He dies. That doesn't... I'm still stuck in here. How far do you reckon I could move? Not a bad idea. We ain't getting a water kill. It's fine. What if I yeet him? No, punch him. I'll take the hit from that. I wish I could still punch. Uh, will that... Uh, we still lose it. Nah, it's done. The purple Vex crushing you? No, this this here, this is what's crushing us. I got nothing to play with. Your health is a, is a resource like everything else in the game. That's what I have to focus on next time I play this. Well, that pushes this out of the way, doesn't it? Does nothing as well. Saves him from one damage. Nah, that's game. Oh, it just destroys him. That's cool. Sag. I learnt a hell of a lot, though. Learned a hell of a lot from that run. Womp womp. Just started? That was my first run, gents. I was thinking of switching over to um, some Returnal. But I like this. I, I would bring this back. Oh, we get to choose someone to bring back, huh? Obviously this guy. Oh, we earned three coins. Zenith Guard. Beam technology and pinnacle shield technology create a powerful combination. Rusting Hulks. Custom Squad. Unlock more mechs. Okay, fair. View all achievements. Oh, we got a couple. Complete the first corporate island and drown three enemies in a single battle. It's kind of fun. I like it. I like it. I think it's going to I think it's going to come back. It's good. It's good. I don't know why I slept on this one. Give me a sec. Um, I will switch up the game. I'm in the mood for some Returnal.
Hmm, I possibly don't need the, um... New tank set up? Nothing's changed. There's a plate right here, which is what we put the little rats on. She fed, she ate tonight. She ate too. Same one. I haven't I haven't got my buddy over here yet. That that will be happening though, I promise you that. You need an update, do I? I don't need an update. All right, let's jump into some Returnal. Fucking love this game. I've been dying to play ever since we played however long that ago that was. Um, yeah, yeah, for sure. Did I finish it back when? No, 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 no. So Returnal was selected um, by Ms. Queeb, and it it I I took me the entire stream almost to to figure out again, sort of to to bring it back. And uh, once I did though, it was like like oh, it is so good. It's ridiculously good. Um, I have finished the game though, like, yeah, we're, what I might do, so here's the deal, we're in kind of unlock territory where I need to actually, um, unlock stuff moving forward and like catch up on things that I missed. So I wonder if there's an area, the computer should tell us what I've, what I've unlocked in each of the areas, huh? Change from the other day. So in... It might look a little bit different. Ripley now has a... Previously she had a, a heat light, as in an actual light. Uh, sorry, give me a second. I'm also going to restart my recording. 